Hello everyone! Hi, how are you? Good morning! Um, welcome to uh, the first... Can I hear music? Can you guys hear music? Hang on, let me... Oh, there it is. I can hear it now. Hello! Um, can you hear the music alright? Is the music there? It should be. Um, hi. So, sorry I'm late. Uh, I've been trying to get everything ready. My lighting is so fucked right now, and I've been trying to fix it, but it's so early in the morning, and it's not even bright outside yet, and my lighting is just awful. Um, but, hi. What happened with the camera quality? I've tried to play with the settings to try and get it to work. This is the best I can get it, because it's early, and I do- I rely on natural sunlight to do good lighting, and the sun is not out yet. It's- it is still very, very dark. Um, so it, the lighting will get better over time. But right now it's bad. Hello, welcome. Uh, this is going. This is the first um, episode, I guess, of TikTok, uh, a new series, and we're gonna just interview people and find out um, a lot about them, I guess. Uh, so we've got Aviva here. Um, Aviva's sitting backstage. She doesn't know she's on screen right now, but. <laughs> We're going to be a view, uh, interviewing Aviva Sophia today, so chill out, we're going to be here for like two minutes. <laughs> <She's, laughs> um, you can't hear music? I turned, okay, so um, just as a thing, I turned donations, I turned alert box sounds off, so you'll be able to see the donations and subs come up, but you can't hear them, just because I don't want to interrupt. Um, I don't want to interrupt Aviva and be like, like yeah so they've been turned off for today they're still coming up there's just no sound today um but she, she's still dying backstage <laughs> um but yeah so chill out we're gonna be here a few hours i'm just gonna be asking uh aviva a lot of questions uh if you'd like to ask aviva a question yourself you can type it in on the discord um chat thing or on t uh, on my twitter you can leave a comment um so i've written some down we'll have a look uh towards the end if there's any more questions um why does your voice sound so calming so i'm sorry <laughs> i apologize uh anyways um let's say hello can you hear me hi oh, <laughs> okay for you can hear me fine now yeah yeah no. Hi. How cool does this look? This whole setup though, I'm really excited. It's like, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> look at this. Wow, we're both together. It's like, it's like the love train all over again. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to share my screens to you? So I can do that. Okay, I can do that. So that way, you know, it's, it's going to be sideways. So it fixed itself? Oh, hang on, they can't hear you. Hang on, give me a sec. Um, okay, let me just figure it out for a sec. Uh, okay, now, talk. Hi. Hi, can you hear Aviva now? Hi. Yes, okay. Okay, so hi again, introduce yourself. Hi. Hi, I'm I'm Aviva Sophia. <laughs> You're so Hello. quiet. Let me tell you up. <laughs> I'm Aviva Sophia. What's up? Most of you know me. Yeah. I feel like I've known around this these parts. Yeah, I'd say I'd say yeah. pretty well known. Uh, it's pretty the, well known. the quaint queen of Eva Sophia herself. What Hashtag Mr. Vraka Bay. Hell yeah. Um, so I've got lots of questions yeah. for you today, Viva. Um. <laughs> I'm, I don't I, I wouldn't consider myself an interviewer, so this is, uh, it's, <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting, but, uh, there's stuff that I want to know about you as well, uh, I think- I'm kind of nervous. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna want to know <laughs> everything. <laughs> oh, hang on, I think the music's a little bit loud. Um, but I've got questions I want to know about before you were internet famous. <laughs> oh. And I don't know. I'm interested to know uh, a few things about you. But yeah, there's a lot of questions that the fans have asked as well. Uh, I've tried to include them. So yeah. Anyways, how was how was your morning? How are you? Oh, um, morning was great. I did. A, I just did a Twitch stream. Hi to my Twitch stream right here. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> um, I Did stayed up till 4 a.m. watching aquarium videos. Aquarium. So that was something. <laughs> yeah, I have a thing for pufferfish right now. 
for puffer fish exclusively exclusively <laughs> i remember i watched i watched kai stream like for like 50 minutes of a turtle eating a watermelon yeah like, period <laughs> that was pretty funny <laughs> anyways um so i want to know so <laughs> anxious my camera Ugh. Oh, it looks like shit, this lighting. Um, Wait, it's not even bad. It's not great. Anyways, um, so I want to know, uh, where... I, guess I, know, I know one of these, but I don't know the other one, I think. Where did you get the name Aviva Sophia from? Aviva Sophia is from, actually, one of my ex-boyfriends. Um, what? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. What? <laughs> He um didn't know like I was dating him when I started TikTok and he didn't know about it. But like any time that he would talk to me, he'd be like, Aviva Sophia, I'm so in love with you. Like I, I don't even know. So I just like it, it stayed in my mind. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take that name and make money off of it. Cause your real name's Aviva, yeah. That's your real yeah, name. Yeah, my real name's Aviva. And then Sophia's just like what you made up or Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, for all, for yeah, all yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> for all intents for, and purposes, for legal you made it up. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Miso Packet Bay. Miso Packet Bay. Oh, I created that in, um, I think, a Japanese restaurant in California. And somebody, I think Kai tapped me and was like, how the hell did they make all of this miso soup so fast? Because we like we had like eight people. I was like, oh, it's probably a generic miso packet. And then somehow Miso Packet Bay came. <laughs> miso Packet Bay. <laughs> miso Packet Bay. And then you and Cap are really the reason why I feel like I use it so much now. Because you two, when like I came to California, you guys were like, Miso Packet Bay. So now I feel like it's just kind of stuck because of that. Yeah. I think, I th yeah. for me, I think it's pretty iconic now because it's like you do anything. <laughs> it's like miso packet. Yes, like <laughs> miso packet. Period. Yeah. <laughs> and like your spam account has taken on like a life of its own, basically. Yeah. Like it, it really has. Like there's like spam accounts, and then there's spam accounts. Like you, yours is cause <laughs> you've got so many fucking followers, but just like a fucking just a separate like separate account. Like and you... I reuse the same audio, like, very commonly. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, you've taken on, like, you're known, I guess, on TikTok as, like, two separate people. Like. <laughs> yes. Some people, I'll genuinely get messages where people are like, I literally hated you, had you blocked, but I loved Miso Packet. Yeah. And I had no idea that you were the same person. Which is nuts to me. Yeah. So, that's really fun being compared to myself every day of my life. Um, really weird. And but... it's, it's, like, the thing is, like, um because you play like such a different character like because yeah, yeah i mean you'd agree i think it's you said it, it's like miso packet is more like it's more you while yeah, for sure aviva sophia is like kind of like the online character thing yeah yeah definitely i think um i've taken a lot of inspiration from a lot of different um a lot of artists like song artists and just like art and stuff of people who've used alters or just like um, like alter egos or even like drag queens like personas are just like a beautiful thing to me So I love that like I'm really awkward and like even if I don't show it all the time like internally I have a lot of like social anxiety and like I'm just like weird about myself sometimes But like Aviva Sophia is like a bad bitch so I can pretend to be a bad bitch for, like three <laughs> hours in my day And I'm like great. It's fine. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> Aviva Sophia is that bitch she is that bitch. She's the bitch I wish I was. It's so funny. Honestly. I watch, it's like, you see her be Sophia, and it's like, perfectly immaculate, like, makeup done, hair done, and you get to like, <laughs> you get to meet some pack of bay, and it's like, when you like, accidentally open the camera. And then <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. It is. It really is. <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to talk more about that later, but I want to start, um, I want to try and start and like work towards where you are now. So like, mm -hmm. let's talk about when you f like before you even know you even knew what TikTok was. So, uh -huh. how old were you when it started? It was like two years ago, yeah, oh. or a year ago. I was. It, I've been on TikTok for a year, so it was like a year and a half ago, or like two years that I knew about TikTok. Yeah. Hold on, quote. Um. Years. And you were, yeah. and what were you doing? I found, I was waitressing. Um, I waitressed for like two, three years of my life. 
um, and I was a manager there, but I would come home and play video games every night, and my friend was obsessed with Belle Delphine, and um, Nyan Nyan cosplay, hit or miss girl. Hell um, yeah. So, yeah, so that's how I got into that, because I wanted to be them so bad. So, so bad. So you took a lot of inspiration from, like, cosplays and stuff, I guess. Oh, hell yeah, because I, I, I deleted a lot of my first videos, but I used to cosplay once in a while, once in a while. Yeah. Uh, but then I also have, like, cosplays that I've just never used, because, like, I just, I don't know, because I, I feel weird going into the cosplay community now just because um, I do, like, use the term thought. And I don't want anyone to think that I'm, like, looting up, like, especially just, like, the anime, like, culture. Um, because it's not my thing to loot, first of all. Um, but uh, I don't know. I just, I don't really go into cosplay as much just because I, I have too many other things going on. One, and then two, like, I just get judged way too much when I do it. Yeah. So, it, it's, it's rough. It's just, like, too much for me to deal with, so. Yeah. So when you were waitressing, that, that was at like, was that at like a restaurant or like a diner or? Like a little diner, like, oh, a if you, okay, I'll, I'll say it now. If you guys know what a Coney Island is. Isn't that a place? Nice little, yeah, kind of. There's, it's like um, a chain now, but like um, it started in Coney Island, New York kind of thing. But I was just like a little diner waitress. <laughs> and I wore like no makeup and <laughs> yeah, my yeah, hair was brown. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd literally walk up and be like, hi, like, how are you doing today? What can I get for you? <laughs> like, <laughs> I just imagine it loud. Like, yeah, if you were <laughs> like, oh, wow, what can I, what can I get you? Like, <laughs> oh, well, can I start you off with something to drink? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love That's, that. People have like DM me that too. They're like, wow, like, um, you really went into like waitressing looking like that? No, I didn't. Oh my God. But like, I would. I would. <laughs> Hey, I think I think you, if you were to like, if you were like uh, re uh, waitressing as like Aviva Sophia now, you'd be making bank. Like, oh my god, it would be so different. Life it'd be would be so better. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so good. Do you like? You, then, like you could charge extra just to be waitressed by the Aviva Sophia. <laughs> There's it. In the back, There's but Aviva Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So when before like when you were growing up like let's say like elementary school like oh um, yeah <laughs> what kind of kid were you i'm genuinely curious were you like one of the popular I... kids or were you like a nerd or what um like okay so elementary school i was really um i was sheltered i was really sheltered my like first like five no first like eight years of my life i went to only like schools that like you had to like pay money to get into and like I had special like um people that would come over after school to like teach me things like I was just very like very very sheltered no soda I was vegan for a while um it was just like a different way of living so I was I was really outgoing only because my mother really raised me to think like you're totally allowed to be outgoing like go off like be who you are so I was just weird like I just cringe thinking about myself because like I, I would do whatever I wanted to yeah. I wore whatever I wanted to. Like, I was outgoing, but I wasn't popular. People just didn't really like me that much because I just didn't really care. Yeah. So you were just, like, yeah. apolog unapologetically you. Yes. That's pretty yes. cool. I stand that. Yeah, I miss that. Honestly, like, I look up to younger me a lot because she re she really did not care. <laughs> not one bit. I like that. That's really cool. Yeah. Did you have, like, your own style kind of thing? Like, were you, yeah. were you like... You already know, you're like, yeah, like it's me. It's like, everyone's like, oh, yeah, that's a Viva. Like, oh, oh my god, yeah, I wore these like sequined hats <laughs> like two years of my life. What? Every <laughs> single day. What? It was like, it was just like a beanie made of sequins. And I had every single color. So it was the same hat, just in different colors. Yeah, over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Everyone's like, what the Viva in that fucking beanie? Like, <laughs> I love my beanie. <laughs> that's like I feel like that's why I wear my um, pink and white one now. Yeah. That I still wear sometimes. Oh my! I know exactly. The, I know exactly the one you're talking about. You wore it all the fucking time. It, it's designer, bitch. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna wear the one designer thing I have. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like the other thing I I remember you wearing uh, so much on that fucking trip was uh it was like a green sweater or something. Like. Green sweater. It was green. It's so ugly. Jacket. I think so. Yeah, it has like the zip in the front, I think. You, it was what? It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was, why didn't 
you tell me, you asshole? <laughs> no, because it looked comfy. It looked so comfy. I know exactly but, what you're talking about. Is it the, is it the green and pink one? It's the green and pink it's one. It's literally behind <laughs> me right now. It's literally over there. <laughs> I bought it's it while it's so there. So ugly. It's so comfy. My mom hates it too. I love it. I live in a cold state. You don't understand. You don't get it. Okay. <laughs> um. So, um, you. So you right now. You. You're living uh, at home. Yeah. Yeah. It's so like what's yeah. ho- what's home for you? You live in America. 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 I don't know if you said what state you live in. On the I mean, some of my fans know. I mean, like, only the only reason I don't really talk about it is just because, like, weird old men like to message me and be like, I'm trying to find where you live. <laughs> <laughs> so I just sit there, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. And you um, live... So, yeah, that's why I just don't talk about it, but I will when I move eventually. Yeah. But, so, yeah, and then you're living with family as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. Any pets? Me and Pop. Me and Pops. Yeah, I have four dogs. Four dogs. Me and Pops and the four dogs. <laughs> I never hear, I like barely hear about them. Like, are, are I don't know. I always. Like, you don't listen to me. <laughs> I always, I always thought of you as like a cat person. No, I had a cat, but that's when I had, um, I was living on my own at the time. And my landlord told me that I couldn't bring um, my dog. So I bought a cat instead. Very nice. Yeah. Wait, so, but other than that, I have four dogs. Yeah. What are they? Like, what breeds are they? Um, well, one of them's a Jack Russell Terrier, and then one of them is a Beagle something mix, and then they had puppies, and we kept two of them. That's so cute. Yeah, it's like I miss fam. it, because my cat had kittens, and I gave them all away, and I really wish I kept, like, one. <laughs> Why didn't you keep one? Because they piss everywhere. And it's like, it, the, the it, mom was no, annoying they enough. Do. Yes, I do. No, they do. They do. I nearly lost Look my, oh, I nearly lost my deposit. Cat. I nearly lost my bond deposit. Because they oh piss on the carpet. Like You need to get the right cat. Like you need like a main coon. Anyways. As far as the cat. Um, so you you went through elementary. You went through Did you finish high school? Oh what's no. what do you call it? What do you call it in um High School. High school, you do call it high school. Or middle school? Like elementary, middle and high school. Yeah, I don't I'll never understand your stupid education It's literally system. the simplest thing ever. It's not. It's, it's really there's not three things. You just go one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. <laughs> you just count up. Yeah, it's but it's not. It's it's really not simple. I think we've had this argument before. I've had it with someone American. It's so dumb because, like in Australia, we have you have primary school and you have high school, and that's it, and then you're done. So it's like years zero to six is primary school, and then six to twelve is high school. But you have uh, so like confusing. middle school for some reason. It's I, I don't know. It makes no sense to me. Zero to six. Like, you who says things. that? Huh? Who says that? So no, like, okay. I, I, you know what? I don't agree with Australians. Whatever. That's so tall. Wait, right there. <laughs> I, just, I can't. I can't. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm going to pretend you didn't uh, say that to me. Whatever. It's freaking America's backwards. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, what, when you, when you were, like, little, did you, mm-hmm. like, because I know that you, it's like, you were all about, like, being just you like being the best person of you what like yeah did you ever like what was your like your dream when you were little like were you always wanting to be like everyone want to know of Eva Sophia kind of thing I just wanted people to really like me I just like I think that's been like a reoccurring theme in my life Uh uh-huh I just I just wanted everyone to be nice to me so I really wanted to be a teacher or um I just wanted to have kids when I was younger because I just wanted to have kids and be nice to them. So That's all I would kids. say to people. <laughs> That's all I would just be like, I just want to have kids and be a mom. I was so <laughs> lame. I was such a lame kid. But like, I did. Yeah. So would you say that's still, like, that's that's still relevant now? Like, was do you still have the same dream? I mean, I almost got married. Like, right before TikTok. So like, Excuse almost. Me? What? Yeah, oh, I, I don't, wait, not I don't know about this. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, no! I almost got married. Um, I was dating this guy for like two years, and the relationship, like things started to happen. A little bit, a little dark, a little too dark for this Twitch stream. Things started to happen, and like I was like, you know what? Like I don't, I don't want to be with you anymore. And I, I left him, and I, I like made new friends, and like just stopped talking to him. <laughs> Period. Are you serious? I just did TikTok. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was ring shopping. He was my, ring my shopping. My parents said yes. Oh, yeah. So, so he was like. Oh, he deserved it. He deserved it. Don't even give me that look. <laughs> That's crazy that it was so foreign, and you're like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like, bye. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Hey, if you hurt my miso packet feelings, like I've had my miso packet feelings hurt way too many times. I don't have time. I don't have time anymore. No, no. I don't. I'm over it. I got I got money to make, baby. Like that's crazy. That's actually so crazy. I would. I didn't know that. Yeah, I would say I'm way more career driven now because I feel like career is much more satisfying for me than people who disappoint me. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, focus on yourself. <laughs> miso packet me. <laughs> I said my way. My, my way. way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just don't have time. Did you ever think but that like, you'd I be... do want kids. Yeah. Did you ever think that you'd be here? Like, mm. internet, internet famous, like, kind of thing? Yes and no. Like, I, me and my friend used to try to get internet famous when we were younger all the time. We never would, like, post anything, but we would make videos and just, like, watch people and be like, we want this so bad. Um, And... My friend Olivia always says it's really funny because like right before I got TikTok famous, I would always like on Snapchat just take videos of myself lip syncing. And she was like, I never understood why, but I guess there was a purpose now. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, kind of like part of me was like, that'd be really cool. Like, I really want it to happen, but I didn't think it would. But here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are doing some super podcasts for like a thousand people. And you're like, yeah. you're like Twitch streaming like, what, five days a week now? Five days a week, baby. That's crazy. Yeah, I stay busy. <laughs> you on that grind? <laughs> I'm on that grind. <laughs> Period. Um. So, uh, how? So, when? Which period of TikTok did you like jump in on? Like, um, E Girl Factory. So that was like what, like, early 2019? Yeah. Or late yep. 2018. I, I joined that i don't know i think it was like it early was bit, 2019 yeah i think it was a bit after the whole like furry game of war kind of thing because that was 2018 yeah. i was late i was late to getting the yeah, app but hardy. i just saw it on instagram yeah you saw it for instagram. sure yeah so what made you want to jump on because i know like a lot and like me included it's like i jumped on when there was the whole like haha making fun of musically kind of thing like yeah. doing like the Fortnite dance to like yeah <laughs> that was why I jumped on. So what made you want to to get on TikTok? Um, honestly, just like seeing a lot of e girls. Like I was like, okay, they're so pretty and they trick men into paying them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, <laughs> that sounds like farce. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Just like yeah, people like, yo, this is easy bank. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna get like a community of like people. I like, cause I've always been more into like mental health. Like that's what I wanted to go to college for. I wanted uh -huh. to be like um, a therapist and go into things like that. So I was like, okay, if I had a platform, that's what I would do with it. But there's no way in hell that I'm gonna use like, I mean, cause like I did kind of use like my body a little bit with my own permission for my yeah. platform. But I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get a platform of people who like genuinely want to hear what I say. But it's been crazy. It's kind it's of nuts. Off. Like it's kind of it like has. I was surprised um, at how well, I guess, like the community like took on the idea because it, it's like, mm -hmm. I guess, like you're like TikToks, like Belle Delphine kind of thing. Like no, yeah. it's like I don't think I can't think of anyone off the top of my head that does what you do. Yeah, there's a lot of people, a lot of people with less followers than me that really copy me like not even to be like that person like oh my god but like they'll genuinely like like will um because they think like that it's like a formula like if i do this face and do like this hand movement like i will get paid by men um but yeah. like it's not quite like that but like no. <laughs> i feel like i do have like a little like niche in tiktok where it's like i'm not quite e-girl i'm not quite like a thought and i'm not quite a cosplayer so it's kind of like i, I it's nice it's nice just being my own thing you know yeah and like I don't yeah. at the whole it's like what drew like what drew me to you was like the fact that it's like you have this character where you play like this super like confident like I'm that bitch like I know it, but like the thing is you're very you're so self aware about it like you know mm -hmm. you're like oh yeah like I'm hot and I know it but this isn't me like this isn't yeah this isn't who I am in my day to day 
Because, like, yeah. I've seen you. I, I've seen you. Like, <laughs> I, I I'm the opposite of my sister. <laughs> yeah. And, it's, like, that's what it's so funny. I love meeting people. I love it because, like, even meeting you, oh, my God, it's so exciting because everyone has, like, not even in a bad way. I, I love the stigma around me yeah. because people meet me and they're like, oh, you're going to be kind of mean or, like, trying to, like, do weird things, you know, <laughs> like, not safe for work things. But really, you meet me and I'm wearing, like, extra large sweatpants, a big shirt, and I'm like, okay, like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Misa Pekute. <laughs> Like I'm really short. Yeah, like, I'm kind of awkward. Like the, I love it. Yeah, we. I think I got complete 100 Misa Packet Bay on the trip. Like mm-hmm. it was so funny to just see you like wake up, yeah, get him away, like get the yeah. fuck off, <laughs> like messy hair, and you just get out of bed, just like fuck off. Oh <laughs> my god. And it's such like a stark contrast to like your online character, and I don't know. For me, yeah. that's so funny. Like it's so yeah. funny to me. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, yeah. I love it. I think it I think it's very smart. And it's like it's definitely I don't know. It it's a good choice, I guess. Like yeah, I, I don't know, the character works. the character is very um what's the word? I don't know. It's ve- it's like yeah. done well, I guess. Yeah. Portrayed and, well. And you I think you would like the first person to do it well on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, like, that is true. I that, oh god that's what i do i do really appreciate like while i don't always like love where tiktok is going like it's really fun to look back and be like okay like at least i could see like this is what i gained like popularity for So like it's not just like my outfits and stuff like people like that there's two sides like people like coming to my twitch streams and every day i get like 50 comments of people saying like wow this is like completely the opposite person like yeah. i didn't think it was gonna be like this and on, it, it's fun. It's fun, like, having people learn and having people respect me because they're learning more about me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, it's fun because it's, like, you, it's like you get one on web, one, if you, they, if they just see you on one platform, they're going to get a Viva. Mm-hmm. And they're, like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then it's, like, yeah. if they choose to, like, go that, just that tiny bit deeper, they get, like, a whole different person kind of thing. Like, exactly. There's, there's multiple layers. She's deep. Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. Like, she's different. She's di- and that's why. She's I, not like other like, girls. <laughs> Maybe it's fun because I'm like, I can see how far like certain people have gone into like my accounts. You know what I mean? Like, I can yeah. see like, okay, like you've only seen like these like my Valentino videos or this person's like seen my Twitch streams. Like, it's it's all different. Like, Miso Packet Bay Twitch stream. And like Aviva Sophia, I feel like are all very like different energies, but all energies that represent me. Yeah, you know, it's just different facets of yourself or like your personality. Yeah, they make one grand miso. <laughs> one, <laughs> one miso soup. <laughs> one miso soup, um, and that is it. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. And it's like I was, I was very shocked when I saw like the other side, cause like. I was like, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, this is one bad bitch. Like, I need to be friends with her. And then I see the other side and you are just normal. Like, you have, like, Mm -hmm. your struggles and your, it's like, it makes you, like, more humanized kind of thing. And it's like, and you just like to play fucking video games. And I I was just like, wait, wait, this bitch is cool. I love it. I love it. It's the only thing, because, like, I I struggle with a lot of mental health problems, and, like, I've talked about that a lot. Video games is one of the only things where my brain, like, isn't being mean to me. So it's, like, bars. Like, I will gladly play video games for people. Yeah. To, like, do the same thing for them, kind of. You know what I mean? Mm. It's really cool. I like it. I'm a big Mm -hmm. fan. (laughs) Um, So do your... uh, or does your dad I, like uh what does pops think about the online career pops pops thinks it's great he i like didn't tell my parents at first until really um because when i hit a million i went out to go see 24k golden in chicago yeah um and so i was taking a flight alone and i was like i was just eight i think it was 18 19 i don't even know but anyway i had to tell my dad because i'm like okay i'm gonna be gone for like two days like i feel like i should tell you so then I kind of had to explain, like, okay, like, this is kind of, like, my job. And especially when, because you told me to quit my job. I did. Um, we'll get that. That's one of the questions did. I asked. We will. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get that. <laughs> but um, he, he thinks it's great. He, he calls me his little rock star. Um, he's super supportive. He knows what I do. He's, he's proud of it. And he'll, like, I'll come downstairs, like, during one of my breaks. And he's like, how's it going up there? Like, how's it switch street? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, like, he's slowly but surely, like, figuring it out. Or he's, he just sent me, um... 
me and you with BB Rexa. He sent me that video. He saw it. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, the video of the grinding me one. and BB Rexa twerking. Oh, <laughs> he sent it video. to me. The fucking video. <laughs> My fucking dad showed his workmates that video. I was like, are you kidding? Are you fucking, fucking serious? Serious. They didn't that believe is, me. Honestly, it's almost at a million. Are you serious? Yeah. That's so crazy. It's such like a That's fun crazy. thing to like say like, I got fucked on my BB Rex or just a flex. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I hate you. Like did that, did oh that whole thing, like I, it's like th that actually happened. We went to it fucking BB Rex's house. We did. Oh my god, did you see her Team Choice Award? I'm still losing it. No, what? She you got... were sitting right next to it. Oh, we were? Oh, I yeah. didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She was too busy dressing me up in her, uh, what was it? Her Gucci robe. <laughs> oh yeah, oh my god, the Gucci. And the earrings. That was... I was just talking about that. That feels like a fever dream. Oh did yeah. Did that even happen? That entire trip was just fucking crazy crazy insane but, yeah well, i've got questions for that a little bit later um mm -hmm. uh so your dad knows about aviva sophia and not just aviva. yeah yeah he knows about everything yeah and he's just like yeah, yeah. That coins this. like yeah at first he was like i mean like i don't know if i can like say that where he was asking me if i was doing more not safe for work things and i was like he was like i just gotta ask he's like i just need to know and i was like no <laughs> he was like okay just had to ask i was like okay cool yeah. And that was pretty much the entire conversation. But he, he's like, you're an adult. You can do what you want as long as you know, like, whatever you're doing, like, is permanent on the internet. Obviously, you know, um, he was like, I'm happy for you. And he, he seemed to get a lot happier since it started. So, yeah, he's pleased. So would he be fine with, like, anything that you want to do? Say you, you were, like, to start, like, say if you if you were doing more not safe, not safe work things, would he still be like, eh, like, you're an adult? I think or would he, like, step in? <laughs> I think... I don't think he would stop. I think he would be like, not that he, he, he my dad really does support me and like yeah. he does get it, but he does not want me to. Yeah. I he mean, really does not would. want like, me to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's his, it's his but I know. Yeah. I know like it would take a minute, but like, I don't know. I probably wouldn't want to live in his house. You know, like <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> just, like, just like, opens the door and you got like this whole like shoot going on. And you're like, I don't <laughs> Oh my god, explaining this before he really knew about Twitch streaming, I was like... <laughs> why, is your, why is your green screen like attached to your chair? What the fuck? I like it. It's so what? I don't have to have my green screen up all the time. My room's pink. The green looks really ugly. Wait, what? So How just... is it staying on the back of your chair? Oh, Trap. what? So it's made to yeah, sit around period. your chair? <gasps> yeah, 60 bucks on Amazon, baby. Are you kidding? Period. No. I should have got that. She's great. I she folds up. I paid three hundred dollars for this bullshit. This thing behind me. I mean, she is a little bendy. I like yours though. Yours is like crisp. Mine like fucks I broke up mine. all the time. Mine's broken. <gasps> I danced. When? I danced in front of it and I, I snapped the lock and now it doesn't close probably. <laughs> and yours is your swivels great. too. Very cool. Yeah. The only thing is the corners get irritating. Like if I accidentally like if I want to sit like this one day, I have to be like, oh, sorry guys. Yeah. You know. So, but other than that, it's great. I love it. Miso mm. packet plug. It's not sponsored. Miso packet but... plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, how with like your character of like Aviva Sophia? Mm -hmm. Um, do you can you just like wake up any day and just be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna get into character and just do that? Or is it like, is it mm. only certain days that you feel like doing it? Or like, which one comes out more? Um, I want to say like. There are certain days where like, even if I do my makeup, like if I'm trying to like make a video and I'm not feeling it, like especially days where I'm really mentally struggling, I'm just like, I can't, I can't do it. And I, I like take off my makeup and I cry and like I give up. Yeah. But like 90% of the days, like if I have caffeine in me and I'm just like, like I know, like it's part of my job now. I'm like, I have to get up. I have to put have on this to. makeup and I have to like pretend like I'm happy for at least an hour. <laughs> like, <laughs> and just like get it out like lately in the mornings my twitch stream knows i've been grumpy because i just i recently quit nicotine your chat has been coming into my Very chat nice. so hard telling me to quit oh, but, like, hey they at least have... supportive they care These i know they care, they care. <laughs> but i've been miso packet angry i'm so miso packet mad <laughs> like, 
<laughs> and waking up and streaming like i literally want to punch people like people come to my chat and be like really is that how you do eyeliner and i read it oh and i sit god. there i'm like oh my fucking god <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> i just want to yell <laughs> but like it's fine like yeah. it's part of the job i like that mm -hmm. like since I, I mean yeah you just gotta deal with it you just gotta go and do it yeah but it's like, cool because like you, you have like a whole other platform as like it's like you don't feel like it. Hey, we're just be some packet bait today. We're just chilling. exactly like I know if I wanted to come on my stream and I was like, guys, I'm having a bad day and I'm not wearing any makeup. Literally nobody would care. They've paid me to take off my makeup before. That was a while ago, but they used to. Yeah. So which one's more prevalent on Twitch out of your like two different kind of things? Oh, that's a good question. Like I know you wear a lot of makeup on streams. I do wear a lot of makeup on streams, period. Because like there's a lot of angles on videos, baby. There's a lot of angles. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but honestly, I would say, I would say not even me sell packet. I feel like a Viva comes out on stream because I can like really? swear and like whatever I want. Oh my God. Yeah. Except for like, like certain times, like if I'm having a worse day, like I'll, I'll fake it a little bit more, but I feel like my community and my streams really do put me in a good enough mood to be myself yeah. without having to like kind of fake it. Mm. But, um, so I feel like me so packet or a Viva comes out more, but a Viva Sophia like appearance. I, like yeah. so if a guy wants to mute me and look at me like that's fine <laughs> like go ahead you if you want me I would tell experience. Them, <laughs> yeah, i'm like just, just look at my instagram or just like mute me and just look at me and it's fine <laughs> but if you want me to like be dumb but also look like a girl like perfect yeah because uh -huh. I, I like the whole like congrats in your nine months like it's like that to me is like the most <laughs> that's like the most <laughs> Well, I love saying that. I said it, like, I started so saying funny. it just because, like, I was, <laughs> it just came out. <laughs> and then Cap was like, that's kind of cute. Like, I like how you say that. And I was like, wait, really? <laughs> I'm going to keep dumb. saying it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and my chat likes it. Like, people in my chat You've like, got oh, me look, saying it now. <laughs> like, I say it look all the that. fucking time. Because it's so, it's so stupid to me. And it's like, it, like, it's so funny to me the way you say it. Like, it cracks me up. Like, it's like, why are you congratulating them? It's like, they just paid because you. Because we're getting... Like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get emotes. They get into my Discord. Because you have to pay to get into my Discord. Because people are creepy Ooh, to me. Fancy. So, like, you're getting benefits hold when on, you pay me. Hold like, on, hold on, hold on. You said... Because you don't want people... You don't want creepy people coming into your Discord. So, you got to pay to get in. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. it be, like, the creepy people that would pay a lot to get in? Actually, no. The people that pay me are the least creepy. Really? I swear my life. Swear on my life, if you pay me, you're 10 times better. Cause they're like nine times out of 10, the people that pay me, especially like the more money you pay me, like the more you respect me weirdly enough. Like, and you're like, the people who pay me have never asked me for nudes. Yeah. It's like, like my, yeah. my top donators like have never been creepy in that way, which is it's insane actually. And it's great. Cause I think it's like, they just want to support you, I guess. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's like, yeah, no, I don't want to, I don't want to see every, I don't want to see all of you. I don't want to see Miso Packet everything. I just want to make sure that you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miso Packet everything. Yeah, I feel like people more pity donate. They're like, this girl's losing her mind. Like, let's calm her down a little bit. Um, but like, I, I had a Discord that everybody could get into and um, it, it was crazy. So I, I just can't do that again. I feel bad making people pay, but at the same time, like you're also paying to like not have to deal with that. <laughs> it's so bad. People get so bad, or will like raid me. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Not it. Mm. Um. So I um. I kind of have asked you this in the past. What? So let's talk about Valentino. So this is your like big defining moment. Yeah. This is like the. Yeah. So it's like, how long was it before? How long were you uploading before Valentino came along? And how many followers were you mm. at? Oh my god. I think I was at like, oh my god. Okay, chat, I'm so sorry if I'm wrong because I know people have been watching me forever. No. Um, probably like a month or two in. Not even. A like a month, month in. A month a in? Month, I had, I got a, a thousand followers on my first day on TikTok. Period. Whoa. Period. I did not come to play. <laughs> <laughs> this was not a joke. I'm like, I'm not putting myself in these outfits for nothing. You guys are gonna like these. So you, so before like TikTok, you weren't on any social media or anything, were you? I wasn't. Not like. Not not publicly. in like influencer. Not in content creator kind no. of way. Yeah, not at all. No. And then, no. 
did you have the character like of Aviva there from the very start? Um, it kind of reminded me a lot of like how I would have to act at work because like I waitress in um yeah. a much like richer area than I lived in, so I had to act much more proper, much more like girly, like kind of girl next door what the what the old men wanted because I worked like around a lot of old men. Yeah, sex sells. Um, yeah, exactly. So if I wore like less makeup, but really like dark eye makeup, and I talked like a little bit lower, but like, hi, like, how are Hello. you doing today? Hello, Mr. President. Hi. What can I get you? Hello, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I got more money and I would come home with like double what like some other people would make sometimes just because like, it's it was almost like acting. Yeah. Um, So I, I just kind of took inspiration from that. And plus, like, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know where it That's came. Crazy. It just jumped out of me. That's crazy. The influencer was just like, hi. Because like if I'm you here. didn't, if you didn't do what you did before, if you didn't do the waitressing and everything, like you wouldn't yeah. exist like you do today. You don't even exist. You to don't me. even yeah. exist to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I so had cool. like severe like social anxiety before. Um, before I was waitressing, waitressing is the thing that like broke me out of it. So I would not be the person I am on TikTok if I did not waitress. Insane. That's crazy. That's so cool. Yeah. Also, somebody in the chat just asked if I have blood drips on my chair. It's from a video that I took like seven months ago. So thank you for noticing oh, that. <laughs> yeah, she's got a concussion. <laughs> so just, she's bleeding slowly. Just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you were on, you got a thousand followers in your first day. Yeah. And you were on it for a month. Yeah, or like a month or two, maybe three until I found Valentino because I heard it. Um, I think I just found it in TikTok sounds or YouTube. And I was like, yo, this bangs this bangs <laughs> and i ran into my brother's room i was like this song bangs yes. like, you don't get it <laughs> and i was like you know what i'm gonna make this my hit or miss i'm just gonna keep doing it as a joke over and over again in the same way yeah and my fan base like thought it was kind of funny and i was just doing it because i was like okay i'm just gonna meme this for myself like yeah. i'm having a good time i like this song um and then it blew up and i just kept harassing golden so <laughs> the the so because there was one video and that was the one where you were wearing that yellow outfit yeah was it yellow? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, ye the yellow one or the black and white one are the two that really went off the most. I think it's the yellow one. That's the one mm -hmm. I remember. So how many times did you repeat the video before it that video blew up? The first one got like 14K. Um, was that crazy for you at the time? It was a lot. It was a lot. I remember that, but I, I was seeing other people's numbers. And I, I'm just like, I get unsatisfied with myself and I'm like, you can do better. Like you can do better um even kai would give me shit on the first california trip because he would be like why are you doing this over and over again and i'm like because i know i can do better like i know i can make this one facial expression better <laughs> that was, um, but I, was that the higer face thing was it yeah the face? or just like anything yeah it's in there it's in there it and, got better each yeah. one and this thing the like the because that's pretty this that's thing. pretty iconic yeah, I started adding this into dances because people were stealing my content. Period. <laughs> so when you see someone else doing this, you're like, oh, <gasps> they stole mm -hmm. my fucking video. <laughs> yeah. I love and that. And that's how I caught like a lot. Of, I'm not, I'm not going to name drop, but I caught a lot of people. A lot of people don't like me right now just because I called them out for stealing my content when I had like 50K. Um, because people were ruthless back then, I feel like. It's, it's yeah. better now. I, like it's definitely like people are called out more. Um, but like if somebody took your dance and ran with it, like that was it. It was over. Yeah. Like bye. Yeah. Um, so I would use it and call people out and my fan base was so like almost like K-pop stands where they would like go <laughs> and be like, that is a Viva dance. <laughs> <laughs> um, which was great. Like that's why my fans have really always stuck behind me with that stuff. So like yeah. ours. That's pretty cool. Like plagiarism. <laughs> That's the thing, because it was crazy back then. Like I got, yeah. I, I did so many fucking trends back at like early, and I got so many stolen, like with no yeah. like kind of thing, no kind of credit. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like you and Jet got stolen from a lot. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh my god. I remember that I did the mirror one. Do you remember? It was like falling from like this side and then like you come up on that side yes come up on that side <laughs> hmm. that was me that was me mm. and i mean like yeah i didn't it's it's hard, but like the thing is when you're tiny it's heartbreaking it it hurts so bad it is so it sad. hurts so bad. yeah it's like if someone now did my thing without credit i'd be like whatever but like yeah yep back then when you were like, you're like, I've got such a good idea. This is it. This is my moment. And then someone else bigger just steals it. You want to cry. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, oh god, it would be the worst. That's why, like, I started doing that, just because it was just so bad. Yeah. Like, I wanted to be, like, I wanted to get credit for what I was creating, because TikToks do, like, certain, certain creators in certain, like, situations, I feel like, they do take a lot of time, or just, like, even a lot of effort to get something perfect, or to, yeah. like, get out exactly what you're trying to get across. Like, it does take time, even if it's just me going like this, you know? Yeah. Like, that's the thing. true. That's the thing. It's, like, it might look like you're just, like, thirst trapping, but... It's mm -hmm. a performance. It's a routine. Yeah. It's a choreography. Oh, there's so much behind it, especially with like my like thoughtness. Like I, the way I use my like thought fit videos, guys are more likely to remember songs if they look at me in those outfits. Technically, I'm I'm kind of like PG thirteen in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but if you like, if you see me and you think I'm attractive, you're more likely to remember the song that's playing in the background, and you're more li likely to like it next time you hear it. Yeah. So. So that's why like i started doing things with music because that's really where like my actual like career like money wise started i feel like a lot too is like i was just reaching out to people who made music and being like please pay me like i know what i'm doing and it worked for a lot of people so, TikTok, so yeah i guess like tiktok's like the best platform for you then like yeah to get to like to start off because like yeah it's like you use your music you use your, you use your looks to like create this thing and that becomes yeah. your brand exactly exactly it worked out well for you it did. I'm, I'm pleased. <laughs> so I'm here. When you first started blowing up, what was like? So that was your biggest video you had was Valentino at the time. Yes, at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you hate it now? The song. I did for a little. I just, you just talked to me in the. I'm starting to like it again. I'm starting to like it. It's again. coming back like, around. It's kind of good. <laughs> yeah, I hated it for. A, there was a small part where I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. Like, please. If one more person edits me to the song, like I'm going to like, I just can't take it. I just can't. Um, but now it it it, go, it comes in waves. I feel like I know yeah. you don't like Loco Maniac as much. I fucking hate Loco Maniac. <laughs> I don't ever want to hear that song ever again. I don't ever want to hear it. I'm gonna show you. No, oh, it's so annoying. And like, yeah, it's like because because I don't know if you did it, but when I when that thing happened, it's like I distanced mm -hmm. myself from that song as much as I could immediately. Yeah. Like, is that what you did or did you just keep using it? I kept using it just because people were commenting like Valentino girl. I was like, you know what? Screw it. Valentino girl. Period. So you like fully if that's what you want. It, like, yeah, you, I did. Were like, you ready to become like a video. meme? Yes and no. Because I think becoming a meme is very valuable in this time. Oh, very, very, very. Because you even if I would die off, if I did something outrageous like three years later, it would be like Valentino girl does this. You yeah. know what I mean? You like the um, next like so that's why, kind of thing. It's like yes, like <laughs> I just wanted like meme pages. Like that's how I got a lot of my exposure. Meme pages and just like what's her at police. They would post me on Instagram everywhere because they liked me because I would like play video games and stuff and they thought that was cute. Yeah. Um. So I was like just becoming like a new e girl because Belle Delphine had just like disappeared from the internet. Um. And like other things were happening where I just got in at the exact right time where I was like you know what yes Valentino girl like posted everywhere. That's yeah. fine. I know yeah, that's so I, I was like yeah. trying a little bit. You what? I was just like trying to meme it just a little bit, just enough. Yeah. Like not to the point where that was all I was gonna be known for, but enough to like that's who I was for a while. Yeah. So you, yeah, it's mm -hmm. like you, you embrace it. It was, it was your brand. Like you're a Valentino girl. Mhm. Mm I like it. Yeah. Like, what was I gonna say? Like, cause at the start you didn't like you weren't going into tiktok thinking this is going to be like your career kind of thing no i thought it was just going to be some like extra side money honestly yeah so it's like you didn't like, care too much of like it like because i know i was very scared about the fact that i'd just be known forever as the local maniac kind of guy like yeah you were fine with just being known as valentino girl not not anymore not because i just i didn't really feel like it was going to end right there like i didn't want it to so i just didn't let myself think about it that much i guess <laughs> like i don't know it's never really been too big of a concern just because like i don't know i liked valentino like i liked what i did with it mm. i feel like it worked for like the period it did but like i was never afraid because like i just kept moving i was like okay now twitch like now i'm doing this like not saying that like too much has changed yeah. but like i just feel like i've kept myself busy enough to like not even like I feel like if you got in your head and labeled yourself as something, it's more likely to happen. Yeah. You know, that kind of beat. So, so no, it's never been too big of a concern. Yeah. How was the song popular before you used it? 
Valentino. No. No. No, it was so not. Did you, Sorry, Golden. <laughs> so did you like you like kind of kick started 24's career? Like you gave it yeah. a big boost. Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. And yes. he and so what <laughs> happened? Because he he did he ask you to come out to meet him or anything or yeah, he, um, cause I harassed him. I was like, hey, like notice me. Cause I didn't really like, I thought he was like, he was bigger than me. You know what I mean? Like, so he wasn't like huge, but he was definitely like at least a step higher than I was. Yeah. Um, so I was just like bugging him just cause I just felt like it. Um, and then after me and him got along, like when we first DM'd and he was like, you know what? Like, I want to fly you out to like one of my shows. Um, because he was going to come to a show near me, but it got canceled. Um, and so he was like, fuck it. Like, I'll fly you out. Like, just tell me what show is like closest to you or which one you can attend. Oh, so when you left, when you went on that flight and you told your dad you had to go to LA, 24 paid for that. Yeah, Chicago, but yes. Oh, Chicago. Yeah. Wow. Yes. That's really nice. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I was like, damn, okay. I was yeah. like, fly me out. <laughs> so, so you went to one of your shows in Chicago. Yeah. Yes. You got the whole backstage, like, you got to see everything. Like, it was cool. Yeah. I had a first like little like meet and greet too. Somebody noticed me for the first time there. Um, it was crazy. Yeah, somebody walked up. They were like, "Aviva, like I love your stuff," was and they were the like, "You're so tiny." Yeah. Yeah. If anyone's mm -hmm. in there, Aviva's like three foot feet. Like it's. Yeah. I'm tiny. She's so Hi. small. She's so, it, it threw me off. Like, <laughs> tiny. You are tiny. You're like half my size. Yeah, I'm a small <laughs> girl. It just happened. I don't know. It's just I'm done growing too. Like this is it forever. <laughs> You're stuck like that. I'm <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh, it's funny. It's funny because like you are such a big personality, and it's like yeah, I try. You try. <laughs> and, I have to, like cover it. Like I'm small, but like there's still a lot going on here. Yeah, like, but you can be feisty. Oh, like you can be you like awesome? yeah, like you can be scary Not sometimes. Time. And it's like Not time. you're like this little like chew toy like like you're so loud but you're so small like <laughs> yeah but because like it's also because like you know i'm like i'm small and like i'm nice to like a lot of people i wouldn't say i'm like the nicest person but like i'm nice mm. um so like when people take advantage of me or like are mean to me i'm like or i just need to like kind of state my opinion on something i'm like okay you kind of have to like be a little bit louder because like you are small and like a girl and like yeah <laughs> so we <wee> bit <laughs> so you get the point across aviva yeah um, yeah. So you were saying that that was the first time you got noticed uh, at the concert. Yeah, that was what like was the first like? like real one. Um, oh, weird. weird. That was weird. It, it made me feel so good. Like I was like, oh my god. I like texted my friend. I was like, I just got noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but honestly, I don't know. It was nice. I love meeting people in person. Like if you see me in person, like walk up to me. As long as you're not gonna kidnap me, I'm good. Like we're good. Yeah. Come on down. Mm. What did you feel like when you first got noticed? Like. Was it like really scary for you? Or, like I don't like I don't want this. Like, how did you feel about it? I was excited. excited. I was like, I want this. I I want more. Like constantly. Really? You know what yeah. I mean, like yeah, not like even in a greedy way, but it's just like it's so fun. I yeah. love my fans. Like I would meet all of them like immediately if I could. It's just like it's nice when it's not like oh like playlist live when everything's just like hectic. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Other than That's that, it's great. Mouse. It's great. <laughs> So you were, so yeah, so you were ready to fully jump into like the role of being like famous, like yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I love that because yeah. like when I first got noticed, I fucking I shat my pants. I cried when I first got noticed. I cried. I'm not even kidding. I was so overwhelmed. Why? It, it was like it was at an art gallery, and they suddenly turned the the attention to me, and I was just like. I cried. I like. I ran out, and I was just so upset. <laughs> yeah, it was scary for me. It was scary, but like the confidence uh, to just accept it. You'd be like, "Yeah, I love this." Like, <laughs> fuck, God, I'm jealous. Why did you cry? Because I was scared. It was so overwhelming. Because like, hey, I was for, for the first 24 years of my life, I was nobody. Like, I was just a teacher. I did nothing. And then to everyone, like, I kid you not, everyone at the art gallery was facing the front, and they turned around and just looked at me. And I was just like, fuck this. And I just ran out of there and I cried. Whatever, oh. fuck off. <laughs> I was scared. It was scary. It I just so didn't scary. expect you to cry. It was a lot. It was a lot. I can only imagine. Yeah, 
that's, okay, understandable. I'm not saying it's completely valid. I think I should say it's valid. Your chat looks like it's valid. So you know what, Caleb? <laughs> Cry all you want. Yes. <laughs> uh whatever it's overwhelming to me it's a lot like doing all this it is, is a lot oh my it's god scary. sometimes it's like nerve-wracking because like, people are watching us all all the time. time all the time all the time and you get picked up on it's like the slightest infraction canceled like you're done yeah. like don't ever show your oh, face that's... here again yeah but i've got questions for you a bit later about that i think it'd be funny <laughs> um <What did> I... <laughs> so um your daily routine What's that like? Oh, it's wonderful. Do you want me to just like go through it? I want, to, it? I want to hear about your miso packet day. Okay, all my miso packet days start the same way, just by waking up and taking a nice little break. Winkity dink. <laughs> um, I just, <laughs> just, take, just take a nice little break. All the stands some fresh exactly air. What that, that breaks doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I make myself some coffee and I go upstairs. I answer emails and then I have a live stream where I get ready. This is like on Monday through Thursday. On Twitch? Day in my life. On Twitch now because TikTok takes money. Can I yeah, say that? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Can hey, I say that? Yes. Yeah, they were just saying facts. You want to tell you want to let everyone know mm -hmm. how much they take? <laughs> they take over, I think it's like 75% of our money now. It's 75%? 75%. Now? Yep. I thought it was 60. Oh, 77. It's one of those two. And they got rid of drama yeah, queens, didn't they? Is that a thing? Yeah. So yeah, you can only make like a certain amount. I, I don't do it anymore because TikTok does not deserve my money. No offense. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's, it's the exact, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. That's why I don't show yeah. TikTok anymore. Because yeah. I remember the one of the first times I spoke to you and you told me that TikTok China like hates you. Oh, I'm banned in TikTok China. You're banned. And TikTok India. I'm too progressive as a woman. Too progressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they like to call it. So. <laughs> yeah, and it's like I felt like because I felt I I I like that about you because it's like I because I TikTok isn't the biggest fan of me either. Yeah. But like, sorry, hey, we still it's like we still managed to like make it. <laughs> yeah, of, like, well, because they're mad because like no offense, like not Disney Channel like can't wait to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what they want. Yeah. And like that's great, like good for them for that platform, but like you know not our cup of tea no and it's like yeah for me it's like i feel like tiktok is uh capable of so much more than it is mm -hmm. and it's like as a as a as a medium like as like a, as a platform like for a media a media content platform i feel like it's a it's like it's, it's, it could do so much more than just memes and dancing yeah but that's what they yeah. want to promote I know, like, it really blows my mind how much it's changed. Like, why is, like, this more popular than, like, what used to be? Like, really, what yeah. changed? Yeah. Because, I I mean, I don't know if it's more of, like, um, part of me thinks it's, like, quarantine. Like, there's a lot of younger people on the app now. Um, because, like, you know, there's no school. Like, they have a lot more, like, time on their hands. You know what I mean? And those are easy to copy videos. Not, like, copy, but, like, easy to learn and do yourself. Hmm. Like, DIY TikTok. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Yeah. So I feel like that's part of it, but I don't know. Just like, I'm not saying what TikTok, hi TikTok, if you're watching, I'm not saying what you promote is bad, but, but... I'm not, that's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. Personally. Yeah. So you do, so yeah, so you wake up, you do a stream. Mm -hmm. How long oh, wait, that... yeah. Yeah. So that's you getting um, ready for your day, yeah? Yeah. That's like me, me just like putting on like the thought face. You know, um, uh -huh. just takes about two hours, an hour and a half, maybe depending on how tired I am and how like serious like the eyeshadow is because like something like this will only take me like an hour if I go quick yeah but if I like if I'm doing like a bunch of colors and like a bunch uh -huh. of stuff like it, it could take me like two hours and that's so and that's your entire stream for the morning getting ready yeah so I just sit there I get ready sometimes I do my hair but not that often um and I just like talk about my night or my day and or just like honestly for? like what was that how long does it go for like two hours an hour because i feel like you stream a lot do you do like do you mm -hmm. more than that stream in a day yeah and then i stream at night are you streaming two times a day <laughs> i stream two times a day monday to thursday i did not know that i thought you just did the one yeah. stream because i was so confused i started to it's like so right now for you it's like what 8 p.m 9 p.m yeah yeah eight that's eight and for me it's yeah. 10 a.m in the morning 
Yeah. Because, like, I had to do research because, like, I was trying to figure out what time to tell you. I'm like, oh my god. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So when it's yeah. like 2 a.m. for me, it's like you're just you're just doing your hair, getting ready for the miso packet day. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, cause sometimes I'll go to text you something because I'll we'll like make a joke about you or something in my stream, and I'm like, holy shit, he's like like asleep right now. Like it's not even the next day yet. Yeah. Like, it's the worst crazy. part of being in Australia is the time difference. It's fucking annoying. Yeah. So you'll do your stream getting ready. Yeah, and, and then, then after that. I make TikToks for a while or just like get some things done. Like if I need to like clean, do laundry um, or just like things outside of like online stuff, this is the time I like get it done in. Just like anything that I can get done before like 4 p.m. Like I'll just rush and do it then. And that's when most of my filming happens too. And then what time does um, your next stream start? My I stream Monday through Thursday, 5 to 9 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Viva Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> Get that plug in <laughs> Um, Yeah, I, I do a lot because I'm quite bored. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite bored throughout my days. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'd rather be playing video games. So I might as well stream it. That's the thing. It's like, yeah, there's so much things that it's like you just do anyway. So it's like, might as well just chill out with other people. Yeah, it, it's fun. Like, I, I really enjoy it. It's, it's really laid back on my streams as well, which you, you've, you've partaken. I've been taking you know. a few times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you know what's going on in the Visa Packet streams. Yeah. I think it's nice. They're pretty it's, chill. It's quaint. Yeah. Yeah. Quaint little stream. Like your streams are so different to mine. Like I, yeah. it's like my streams always like like trying to like keep them like it's just constant. It's go 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 go. And then I come to yours. It's like, hey guys, like five minutes of, <laughs> five minutes of silence. Congrats on your two months. I'm I know I'll be quiet sometimes because like I got a lot going on in my head and my chat knows that so sometimes I'll just I just need to focus on the game and shut my mouth for like yeah. 10 minutes it just always, makes me feel good you've always been a big advocate for mental health yeah huge yeah I really Bars. I really I really like that because I used to I, I like I still do the same like yeah this is important for me I think it's important for people to know that like not everyone's always smiles and happy because like it's like a lot of influencers they always like make it look like their life is perfect and it's like it's not it's, it's seriously not. it's especially like girls if you're watching anybody really right now um we all we don't look like how we look like online always like we don't everything's not great i always tell people like i get paid to make other people like quote unquote sometimes jealous of my life like my tiktok like when i'm out like on vacation or like work trips like i'm getting paid to like make you be like wow that product like i need to buy that and like my life will be like hers like that's technically like what like influencing really is and i always feel yeah. really bad about it because like i get messages of people being like how do i find friends and like how do i like make my life as happy as yours and i try to explain to people like i'm not that happy like i genuinely am not and that's okay because you don't have to be like nobody is like a viva sofia like happy all the time like it's just not possible yeah. nobody's life is perfect it's not, no it's like it's a big like i don't know i feel like it's a big lie that like that these influences mm -hmm. just because they they get all these products for free and they get to just make yeah. content for a living and it's like their life is so perfect yes it's yeah. it's a good job and it's it's like it's it seems very glamorous from the outside and it can be very glamorous sometimes mm -hmm. but it's like there's so it's like when it's like hey i'm just i'm just not feeling it today i just don't feel like making content mm -hmm. and it's like tough shit keep making content yeah. like <laughs> Yeah, especially, like, I talked about it earlier, like, in the mornings, like, I'm cranky right now. Like, I'm just not having, like, the best time in my life. Like, just period. <laughs> There's just a lot going on. Yeah. So, and, like, I still have to wake up, like, no matter how depressed I am. And I'm, like, even if I can talk about it on stream, which I do feel like I really can, um, it's just, like, you still have to, like, kind of fake it till you make it thing. Yeah. It, it sucks. But, like, it you does. know, it, it's... I feel like that's with every job too. You know what I mean? Just like a little bit different yeah. for us. It's like what's different between like that job and like your waitressing job. It's like you still have to exactly. put on like this thing. But um, yeah, yeah, no, it's like it's it's cool that it's like you make it known that it's like yeah, everyone goes through their through their like their stuff. Yeah, everyone has the things they have to deal with. Yeah, that's why I love like anytime like like if I'm crying like I'm probably gonna tweet about it. 
And my fans love hearing that. They're like, oh my God, I just cried too, like over the dumbest thing. Yeah. I, I just like, I love the safe space that like me talking about my mental health has created for other people to talk about it. Because even, um, especially mental health is really stigmatized around men, which sounds kind of weird to say right now, but um, you know, like they're not really taught to talk about their feelings as much as kids or like taught that it's like okay to cry. And I feel like a lot of people who are just coming to simp for me are learning about their feelings as well, which mm. is great. That's I love really that. Good. Yeah, it's like subliminally teaching people how to deal with their emotions. It's yeah. great. And it's cool because like, it's like you act, it's like you're like this role model for people that it's like, hey, like if you have some bad days as well. And she's just, she's just yeah. it. Like, wow, oh my God, like I relate to her so much. She has bad days too. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's what I like doing. Like, I feel like people do, like, because I feel like not a lot of people talked about mental health enough when I was going through it. Because yeah. it's been like since I was 12. Um, and I was so, I didn't know I was depressed for like two years until like I stopped one day and I was like, something's wrong. Like something is definitely wrong. Uh -huh. And um, so I feel like, especially the more I talk about it, like I'll have people message me and they're like, Are you completely changed my life. Like on this or that, or like I learned about this from you. And it's it's really just been like heartwarming seeing people take mental health more seriously. Cause I feel like it, it's really like, even though like you hear, you guys hear about it all the time. Like I feel like the correct ways to deal with it are very, just like self-care take a bath do a face mask it's yeah. fine <laughs> um but like you know it's like it's also about like taking showers and like routine every day and like really just like being there for yourself kind of thing yeah here i am i like it it's it's i don't know it's a really good role model kind of thing yeah. to show that it's like yeah yes i can be glamorous yes i can be so pretty and do myself up and do everything but it's also at the same time it's like hey this is not easy. It's like I'm having a, I'm just having a bad day today. Yeah. I yeah. yeah. I, I always pre I always appreciate that in influencers. Like it's just they become so much more likable and personable. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cool. Um. So what? Hang on, I've got most questions. Uh, what was the, what was the internet? So when you brought out Valentino, what mm -hmm. did you get? how was the reception to that like when you started blowing oh. up on social media how what do people think of you when you first came on to like good. the scene not, not good, good. <laughs> not good people hated me i don't know <laughs> what like you guys have seen like just like you know like i feel like men can thirst trap very easily on the app but like back then oh my i'm saying this like it was the old days um back then i feel like showing your body or like doing things like like that I was doing, not that anything that I was doing was horrible. It really wasn't. And not mm. that doing those things are bad, but I do feel like people were very like, oh, she's using her body. Like, I don't want to like deal with her yeah. kind of thing. Um, people were just really irritated. They thought I was very um, conceited. That was a huge thing really? that I, I'm still working on breaking down with people. People think I'm so full of myself. And like, it's almost like I really wish what these people thought of me was true because I have such a hard time <laughs> with myself <laughs> that it's like, I really wish guys, like maybe one day, but um, I still feel like, you know, I'll still get people like coming in and just like expecting me to be one way. And that's why I feel like people really see me in one way when they see one of my videos, you mm. know what I mean? That's instead of like really yeah. digging in they'll base your entire personality off like one video that they see of you and it's so yeah. frustrating because it's like you yeah it's like it's so obvious that like, you're not like it and it's like they just take that one video at face value and they're like oh she's that bitch she's just like yeah she's using her body like and it's like there's so much more to it more to you as a person than that yeah and like that's why like i really appreciate creators like even like especially you i talk about you all the time is that like even when you told me to quit my job like you were one of the few creators that shut up i see that um, <laughs> that i feel like really like appreciated me for just more than that and saw past it because like there's still a lot of of like my favorite creators that are just now following me because they're like oh like i had no idea you were so nice yeah i'm like how <laughs> it's frustrating I mean, it's so frustrating yeah. because yeah people people still think that like i'm an asshole i was like Mm -hmm. what <laughs> like, i was scared to meet so you because annoying. people said that you were like like a big deal they were like oh yeah Kay he's caleb finn I, they were like uh, you gotta be careful i was what like does what does that mean what does that fucking mean <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i don't know and like it's so funny because like you were like one of the few people i really really got along with on the trip and i feel like i don't know i'm trying to think if i if you like portray you the same way online or not i feel like you do in a good way I think I play it up. I think I play up the the thirst angle a little bit more on TikTok. 
Um, yeah. But I think every other platform is just 100% me. Yeah, like, I can I, see that for sure. Yeah, but it's like TikTok, it's like you have to you have to appeal to the the fans kind of thing. And it's yeah. like, and the thing is, I blew up for two videos, which was Loki Maniac and Ride It. And yeah. the Ride It got big just because people thought I was fun to look at. Yeah. And it's like, hey, like, that's... <laughs> You're just gonna keep doing it. Um, so, do, do have people? A lot of people have come around now. Now that you're like more settled yeah. in, it's like they've seen the other side's view. It's like they have more of a a better representation of you. Do you still get hate yeah. now? Not as much. Not as much. Not really. I don't really get hate that much anymore. I get more hate like your account's dying. I forgot I about hate you. That comment. I fucking hate. That. I know. Like, what does that do? Like, they say that when it's at like I just posted the video. It's yeah. at like a hundred likes. Yeah. Yeah. It hits like three hundred k the next day, and I'm like, hi, bud. Yeah. How's it feeling? How are you feeling, <laughs> sir? With like thirteen followers, like get get out of here. Yeah. How do you get, feel? You, User three zero seven six five zero. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I feel like With nobody can account. tell me my account's dying, <laughs> except for you. Yeah. And I like have my feelings hurt because I know like. Caleb liked one of my flopping videos the other day, and I don't really care about videos flopping. But as soon as I saw that he liked it, I texted him. I was like, "You, you," and he, he was, was like, "Yeah, it's not doing too good, is it?" <laughs> Seems like I need a little bit of help. Thank you, Grace. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Grace. Oh my God, Hickey Shema. Hello. Hi. Hey. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. No. It's like it's very frustrating. I know exactly what you mean. Where it's like your account said like graph down emoji like. <laughs> Mm -hmm. like, fuck off. Like, <laughs> I'm trying. Like, I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> like, leave me alone. Yeah. Oh my god. Do you, I get, like, you go. I, I I already lost it. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, like, do do numbers? Cause like, like it's easy. It's very easy to get caught up in the numbers, like mm -hmm. in social media. Would you say that numbers still have? Like it's still like a big thing in your mind. Like, gotta get those numbers up, gotta get the engagement up, or like, what? Mm, I feel like on TikTok, no, no, I do not care. Yeah. I really like. I mean, like, if I spend more time on a video, yes, that I'm like, I I want this to go off, and then if it if it doesn't go off as much as I want it to, I'm a little upset. Like, and not even in a way like a like frustrated. I'm just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I feel like the way that TikTok has been pushing content lately has just made me care less because it's not always my fault it's not always the creator's fault like there are videos of mm. yours that i've seen that are like still have like a hundred thousand likes seventy thousand likes but i'm like this like i don't know why this doesn't have way more because this is way better content than like content that i'm seeing somewhere else and i'm not saying that about myself but like you know i i see other people's stuff not doing as well and i'm like you know i don't really think it's it's us as much exactly what tiktok is looking for in that moment yeah um but I, so I think it all just depends. Twitch, I worry about the numbers a little bit more um, just because like that's kind of income. You know what I mean? Like, and while I don't really d depend myself on like the viewer count, like I think one of the best um, things I heard when I started Twitch streaming was do not look at your viewer count. Like don't, like don't do it. Cause like if <laughs> yeah. you see the number going down, like people could be going You're to like, dinner. Ugh. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just cause I think about how I watch Twitch and sometimes I'll be like, I'll get an ad and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go like pee and go to bed now. So I just leave. So yeah. seriously as much, but as long as everything is like in the same range, I don't really freak out as much. And I feel like things have been pretty stable for me, especially after California. So I haven't really had to worry about it as much, which has been nice. Yeah. Um, because like definitely when you start worrying about numbers, it's the worst thing to worry about. It's horrible. It's horrible. Because it's horrible. When you when you have such a big platform, when you have a big platform, you lose big numbers. Yeah. Like I mean, and it's just a thing. It's like people just people follow, people unfollow. It's just a thing that happens. Yeah. And it happens on a big yeah. scale. And Did you know you're in the top like five percent of TikTok? Who? By the way. Me. You. You. Really? Yeah, I'm in the top ten. So you gotta be up there. Where do you see that? Social Blade, apparently. Social Blade. I don't know. Blade? Somebody told me. Somebody told me. Like my friend told me he was like, you're in the top ten percent of TikTok with followers. I was like, no. And he was like, yeah. He's like, you, you, all you have to do is check this, but I already forgot it. I'll send it to you later, though. That's so but like, cool. dead ass, you're kind of up there. I, there was one day, no, 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 scratch that. It was about a week when the Local Maniac came out. I was number one on Famous Birthdays. Number fucking one. I was like, oh my god, like, 
<laughs> that was fucking California. crazy. California. Um, on, on a yeah. lot of apps, I was with Noen um, and Charlie and Lauren Gray. My name was up there with them, and I was Whoa. in like the top ten. I was like, oh my god, I had the hype for like five minutes. <laughs> Like, like yeah. five. It's really because it can be disheartening when you have when you have like when you blow up over a video and it's like you have this this moment where you're like up there and then of course it's going to come back down. It's like yeah. you cannot stay at that level forever. Yeah, like I'm kind of glad that I lost my hype just because I wasn't really like while I loved the content I made in California, like I don't feel like it, it was me. Yeah. Like I feel like it was very like normal TikTok yeah. kind of kind of content like like my, a lot of my dancing videos like i turned into a dance account for like a month and it, it worked because like that's what gets likes but um it, it's crazy yeah numbers are just are crazy that's why I, I try not to get too worried about numbers and like i hope you don't either because it comes and goes think about how many times like bad baby's been famous yeah that's the like, thing it's just like, think, like things it, like that it has like an ebb and flow it's like it'll, it'll go up it'll go it, it will go down but it will go back mm -hmm. up again like yeah. mine's been pretty consistent it's like mine it's like yeah. obviously i'm not at the levels i was at loco maniac because that's just unrealistic that was like yeah because like everyone was just exposure. like oh my God. like yeah um mm -hmm. but i mean like yeah of course it's gonna go down a little bit but mine i think mine have been pretty good um mm -hmm. like over time i'm happy with my numbers yeah. but it is i like for me it's hard not to get caught up in the numbers because i get so much anxiety over it like, oh my god, you're, you're Caleb Finn, TikTok <sighs> extraordinaire, Caleb. Literally, shut up. <laughs> no fun. But like, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. I know, but it's like, I don't know. I'm like, do people not like me anymore? Like, is there? Was I just a trend? Mm. Like, it's yeah. I do. Yeah. I actually cried about that yesterday. I'm it's not gonna hard. lie. I was like, man, because like sometimes I do just. I'm like, what is it? Like, what? What is this? Like, how long is this really going to last? It's, yes, kind of thing. I know exactly what you're. I get more nervous about that. That's yes, scary. Yeah. Like, it's am scary. I am I irrelevant? Like, am, am I done? Mm -hmm. Like, is this it? Yeah. And that's. I think like when Charlie part. came around, that was scary for me. Wait, how like so? Charlie, like, because I was growing so fast before Charlie. Yeah. I was going. I, I love Charlie D'Amelio. Hi. I love Charlie. <laughs> really quick. I love Charlie, please don't hate me. <laughs> um, but before, I was I was like the number one, like, I was growing. I gained like, literally like 700k in like a week or Holy less. And that shit. was like kind of big numbers back then. That's big numbers. Like, that was fat numbers. And then as soon as, I, like, I love what Charlie did. I think Charlie killed the game with her marketing and stuff. But yeah. like, as soon as that happened, people were all like, oh, well, Charlie took your spot, like, bye. And so, like, that kind of slowed me down for a little bit, too, because I was like, man, like, that's it. Like, that yeah. Charlie D'Amelio just came that's in, and I was like, that's yeah. it now. I feel the same, because it's like, everyone, when Charlie blew up, everyone's like, haha, you're not the hype anymore, Charlie is. Or like, yeah. Caleb Walks said Charlie could run. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> like, it's two completely <laughs> different things. It's like, yeah. Like, I'm so, I'm so happy for, for Charlie and that she's blown up. But, like, mm -hmm. Charlie, I feel, is the first person to do everything right it's like tiktok was looking for a poster girl charlie was like she's like she's young she's talented she does the exact type of content that tiktok is looking for and that's why mm -hmm. that's why she blew up mm -hmm. and she killed it she fucking killed it she's like she's, she did she's she's got just like 55 million followers it's insane yeah and she's still going she's still going it's, it's she's like still oh my god I heard like that, like there might be like a show. Like, there's a lot going on for Charlie D'Amelio. Go off, Queen. She's set for life. I, we're mutuals. I'm mutuals with Charlie D'Amelio. Really? Yeah, that's what right. What a flex. I've talked to her before. Very nice. So, period. <laughs> 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 All right. Um. So, if it wasn't for TikTok, if it's like, say you weren't, say you, you never decided to post on TikTok, and it was never like. It's never happened. Where do you think you would be right now? Ooh, like really, really depressed, married, and maybe in college. Studying what? Psychology, probably. Ooh, I like that. I I <laughs> love. Oh, I, I really wanted to go into just like um child trauma, like that good like zero through Hell five yeah. age where you just get messed up. Yeah. Oh. It's I so love fun. hearing about it's it. It's so fun to study. It's so fun. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love it. That's why I heard you say that um, on the trip, and I was like, God damn it, I'm more like Caleb Finn than I thought. Because like, <laughs> I've always loved that stuff. Like, yeah. It's 
Like, honestly, I think that's what I would do, like, now. If all of it ended, I'd just be like, okay, peace. I'm going to college. Just, like, going to go do this now with the money that I mean. <laughs> um, so. What's your what's your favorite platform out of all of them? Because you have TikTok, Twitch, Instagram. What else? TikTok, um, Twitch, Instagram. I think that might be it. You, you've taken over Snapchat. Yeah. Oh, my friend texted me and she was like, can you tell Caleb Finn to get off my Snapchat explore page? That would be great. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> once they, once so they you verify made... you on Snapchat, your views go insane. I can't believe you got verified on Snapchat? Snapchat? So Are you verified on Twitter? I'm not. I'm not. Thank I'm not god. verified okay, on If you Twitter. beat me to that, I will cry. I have been verified on Instagram so badly. Please. Oh my god. Uh, Instagram's <laughs> dying. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm yeah, over it. I feel like it it's is. It's not fun anymore. It's like, ugly. I, I feel like Instagram is dying a little bit. It's dying. They need a rebrand and quick. Yeah. Like, I even posted on my Twitter the other day. I was like, do people still use Instagram? Like, I know people still yeah. do, but it seems like not nearly the thing it was, like, six yeah. months ago. For um, sure. I try. I try. So what would you say your favorite out of out of platforms you have? Twitch. Twitch? I can be the most myself. Yeah. yeah. I don't have to censor myself for anything. Like, yes. I, it, it's just me. <laughs> it's just me. And I can, oh, it's just, like, fun. Like, when I come on here and I'm like, okay, I want to watch aquarium videos for two hours, people are like, great, let's do it. Yeah. Um, It's just fun. It's so fun. And the mm -hmm. thing is, Twitch takes, like, what? What do they take? Like, nothing? nothing. <laughs> like, half of your bits, maybe. But even that, I'm like, fine. They go take 50% like, of your subs. I know that. And yeah. then Streamlabs takes 2% of your donations. Period. And that's Thank compared you, to... Twitch, for doing it correctly. I know. And TikTok takes, like, 70%. I, that's why <laughs> all these TikTokers are copying us right now. Mm -hmm. It's us. We're the blueprint right now. We're the blueprint. We're the blueprint because they're all moving to Twitch. It's so good <laughs> for streaming. This shit is so fun. I love streaming on Twitch. It's amazing. It's so fun. It's it's just it's really just different. Like the community's different. Like I hate my t like my TikTok live stream chat. Nope, not my forte. Yeah. They are not nice to me at all. They hate me. They <laughs> hate me. <laughs> they want me to burn. They want to watch like they're done. <laughs> <laughs> they're done with me they're over it <laughs> but my twitch chat loves love oh yeah they're great yeah even when they irritate me like i still love them yeah no i'm a huge fan i'm a, such a huge fucking fan for twitch mm -hmm. um if you had to choose to delete one of them twitch or tiktok what would it be tiktok hands down it like i would which one's which one grows faster tiktok yeah <laughs> yeah i feel like i mean lately i've been twitch has been like doing i don't know why i don't know what happened with my twitch i don't know who is promoting it you or if my promotions are just up. working i blew up on twitch i don't know why like you blew up i literally i don't know what i did You've overtaken everyone. <laughs> I genuinely... like everyone I... in our group you're the highest now i know and every like low-key like me. thanks because everybody was like oh viva just gets like viva just stands there and his girl how does it feel now? <laughs> I'm standing. I'm sitting as girl now. <laughs> yeah, so. no, that's awesome. Like, and it, it's it's so fun to be known on like across multiple platforms. It's like, hey, yeah. TikTok dies out. I got a whole other platform to go to. Oh, honey. Exactly. Like, <laughs> oh, honey, I'm it's sad. not even close to over. <laughs> <laughs> we just getting started. <laughs> exactly, and that's why I love like honestly like. We, I could quit one or the other if I wanted to. Yeah. And like, like not like super happily or like super comfortably, you know what I mean? But like, if I did, like it, it could be it's fine and I yet. could like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's a lot for you too. Like it, even with a lot of things, like I feel like you could do a lot even if you just like quit. That's the thing enough. is because it's like, cause it's like, I know I don't want to be on TikTok forever. And I feel like yeah. TikTok's trying to, TikTok's trying to push me out the door already. <laughs> like, me too. I'm not going there. They're gone. <laughs> yeah. It, it does feel like that. But it's like the thing, I, I did it like immediately. I just started branching out to so many different platforms because yeah. one, I feel like I can do all the platforms too because it's like if one dies, I've got like a whole, I've got a whole array to fall back on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah and that's why I, I really like, um, when I first started seeing your Twitch streams, because it took a little bit for me to find your Twitch um like I, I really admired that and that's like kind of what made me kind of want to get more serious about making my shit look more clean um Thank you. just because yours shut up don't, don't you take that 
<laughs> you don't deserve it. Hey, me? <laughs> Thank you. Little miso packet, me? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, you, your stuff, like, even, like, your green screen, like, your background, like, your, your stuff is very, like, it all makes sense. Like, even your TikTok, like, if you put that up right now, like, it would make sense with what you're doing. I like, you have a brand. Thank you. I you try. know, like, I it try. works well. I did business management yeah. school. Sorry. I know. Yeah. I I knew it. I know a thing or two about growing a brand. <laughs> yeah, but no, I don't know. A lot of a lot of the fun for me comes from making things like really pretty, like really cohesive. Mm -hmm. Like it's like building a theme. Like th yeah. that's that's half the fun for me. Yeah, um, I agree. I feel that. Like especially even like this room. Like ever since I started streaming, like I have a stream room. If you guys don't know. Um, it's just like my childhood room that I've made into like this room for it and like making everything like Yeah, it's bars. It's bars <laughs> it's... Um, it's like all pink and like everything looks so like clean and together and like it has nothing to do with my my online stuff <laughs> But still <laughs> yeah. It's just quaint. It makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. So I feel like you're doing a good job just like in internetly <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think you've been do, you've been killing it especially on twitch. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Caleb. Like, where are the sponsors at? Where are the sponsors? You're big enough. That's what I think. I, you know what? Hit my Razor email's up. not on my Twitch. But didn't you say Elgato hit you, hit you up for something? Yeah, but I did not like the tone of voice they used. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> I did not like what he said. He got mad because I called it a key light and he was like, uh, or a ring light and he was like, it's a key light, <laughs> actually. And I was like, well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. So I just, I haven't emailed them, but I have like free stuff waiting. <laughs> so like, there's been a few, but like, yeah. I also feel like I didn't really expect Twitch to pop off that much. So like, yeah. it's been nice. Hmm. So I feel like sponsor, I don't even know. I, I just haven't really been looking for them either. So I, I just, it's just now starting to cross my mind. Yeah. I feel like where I'm at that point where it's like, okay, now I have people. What can I do with it? Because I think I think you could absolutely get a sponsor or two, like for equipment or one. like to play a certain video game. There's so many. It's like yeah. I've got That's I've got heaps lined up, and it's like you're. I'm like half the followers you have. Like you could absolutely just hit Razor up. I don't. Do it. No. <laughs> do it. I can't. I can't. I can't hear no right now, Caleb. I will break. I will literally break. If one more thing happens, <laughs> it's done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, man. I can't. But, I've just been taking it slow for myself. Yeah. Um, it's been nice. Mm. Key light. <laughs> Key light. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So I know we, I know we talked about this before, but I, I just want to hear you say it. I just want everyone, I just want everyone to hear it for the record. Who, um, hang on, what was the question? It was, uh, what made you, what, what made you, um, do social media full time? What was it? What was it? What was that I, thing? That... I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> um, Say Caleb, my fucking name. Caleb made me quit my job. Um, I like barely knew Caleb. I knew Caleb because I made fun of him, um, online. <laughs> I feel I like did. that's how everyone. That's how, what's why I mean everyone. Oh, yeah, I used to make fun of him, but he's really cool. That's fucking yeah, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I did, and then he saw it, and I was I literally was scared shitless when he saw it. I was like, that's it. I literally thought my career was over because he was. You were like mega big deal back then. Like not that you aren't now. Like you're still like you're a household name. But oh like I didn't know enough. <laughs> You are, but I didn't know enough about TikTok to the point where I was like, he knows everybody, like he's gonna shut me out. Like, I'm done. <laughs> and like Um, I like you messaged me, um, because I posted like, oh my god, like waitressing on my private story and you were like, Why are you still doing this? Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> he was like, Quit your job, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Caleb Finn made me quit my job. I it can't wait me. to say that for the rest of my life. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's like I saw potential in you, and it's like you were killing it. And it's like I was. It, back then. I was just like you could so easily. Because I said the same thing to Joe, Nintendo girl. I was like, just quit your job. It's like you can rely on social media money. Like that's so funny. Me and Nintendo girl have the same birthday. Any astrology really? people? That's wild. Elephant, <laughs> March seventh, a day. I'm just I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> I know you are. Yeah, you're I know a you know you are. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like, it's it's hard to take that leap. Like, to just be like, because yeah. okay, it's like, because it seems like such an, un, an uncertain thing. 
like can it's i do scary. this it's so scary because like i got forced to take the jump because i think i told you like i got fired from being a teacher because i blew up on tiktok mm-hmm. so it's like yeah. i didn't have a choice i just had to i just had to jump in and go for it like yeah and then i realized oh yeah like you can, this is totally doable and you were like at the numbers that i were when i stopped and i was like you can yeah. do this Easily. It was like it was scary just because like telling my dad like I've my dad's <laughs> yeah. a really big work ethic and so yes. do I but like yeah. turning to my dad and being like hey dad I wore a maid outfit online and now I can technically quit my job and <laughs> take care of myself so um, <laughs> is that okay yeah but he was like he looked at me and he was like you know what like because I was a barista for three years before that so I've been working like for the past like six years mm. five years and he whether this is like work for you or not because he didn't really understand it then he was like you just just take it off like go ahead yeah but like i did save money before i quit just in case that you were wrong yeah (laughs) and i would have sued um (laughs) (laughs) so that's all i'm saying (laughs) hey it worked out for you in the end though didn't it it did and then i met you i did i literally never thought i was gonna meet you i remember when um how crazy damier was like oh do you care if caleb comes on the trip I was like, Caleb! <laughs> <laughs> I, literally was, I called my friend, I was like, Caleb Finn is going on the trip, I'm about to be Caleb Finn. That's so funny. Because that's when we f- that's when we first beca- started becoming really good friends, is preparing yeah. for that trip, I think. Yeah. I feel like that was good, because especially because me and you, I was up when like it was daytime for you. Because like yeah. me, I remember me, you, and Cap would be in calls, because me and Cap would stay up yes, late as fuck. Yes, I remember that And you call. would fall asleep on the phone. <laughs> Caleb I would just like that. listen to us and then he'd be like, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he would just hear nothing. <laughs> I get so tired. <laughs> me and Cap had a whole conversation over you sleeping for like three hours. <laughs> I remember. That night. I remember and I that. had like the deepest conversation ever. Yeah. It was so funny. I remember that call. I remember that. Um, that, was good. that was good fun though. Mm-hmm. yeah and then yeah and then i think we became like that whole trip was really fun like we, i think yeah. we got pretty close like we had a lot of fun as much as you yeah. fucking bullied the shit out of me still uh... no i my bullying came from a good place of get caleb finn clout and it worked your fans <laughs> the only reason why your tiktok fans love me because i posted you like in like your natural habitat yeah like i, I would so just walk up people would message me and be like Wait, what's caleb finn doing Where's Caleb Finn? Where, who, where is he? And I'd be like, oh, he is right right here. Literally just right here. Because I used to be a stand girl for people. I know what you guys want. You guys want videos of, like, him just living. Yeah. That's so, the bam, thing. I just it's gave like, it to your yeah. fans. Wait, it's like, yeah, I think we, I think you and I both had a, a pretty good idea of what our, fa- what our fans wanted to see from us going into it. Yes. And yes. a lot of it was fan service. Do you hate pregnant women? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired of it. It's like if it's joke and it's still going. I still get comments. Do you fucking hate pregnant women? I uh, really somebody was like he won't answer it. So like now I'm a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you really you want to start a family with someone and you yeah. can't deal with pregnant women? No. Yeah, it has to be like a surrogate only. Yeah. Oh and I don't God. want to talk to them. I, I don't, don't want to I don't want to look at them. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Exposed. TikTok room exposed. Caleb Finn hates <laughs> pregnant women. Caleb Finn hates pregnant women. <laughs> hate absolutely. Yeah. I despise them. Disgusted <laughs> <laughs> by them. <laughs> oh man. No, but that was, it but was wait. pretty good. Both of our accounts you? popped off. Moving on. Yeah. It, moving on. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, guys, I really tried to get the answer talking to my fans about this for I don't even know how long. I really tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> um, we, we popped off on the trip. Yeah, We period. popped the fuck off. We did. Like, all we had to do was this. Da, 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 da. Wait, oh, we can do it here. <gasps> oh my god, wait, Hang we on. can. Okay, wait. Hold on. Are you going to turn on the music or are you... I don't know the song. I don't know the song. It's going to oh, take too long. Do... We're just doing it here. Shit. Okay, I'm, ready? I'm Who's going first? It's like this. Uh, yeah, I'm reverse. There we go. Oh, I don't... You do it first so I can copy you because I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you sing it. <laughs> okay. Um... 
No, but it's like we 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 knew what the fans wanted and yeah we delivered and I think we both uh, yeah we we both we did very well from that trip. It was yeah, a lot of fun. I be- and my fan base they love you. They like even when they hate you like they my fan base you're a household name in my my area. <laughs> yeah, and I, I like that we have a lot of crossover in fans. It's fun. Yeah, it's, it's so fun. fun. It's so fun because it's like it's good to have another person that like Twitch streams that it's like yeah it's it's really cool yeah it's not like even when i was watching you for content the other day which honestly was so fucking fun i might do it again <laughs> it was the funniest thing i've ever done i only stopped because people were like i'm coming to your chat just to hear what you're saying about Kayla. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, remember, I, was like, I remember i saw a dip i'm like this fucking bitch just stealing all of my views oh my <laughs> and, God, it's, and it's so like fun. you're just watching me it's like <laughs> You're stealing my content. You're stealing my viewers. I'm like, am I just supposed to let this slide? Or? It's so funny. It's so much fun. There's just something about sitting there when you can't defend yourself. <laughs> it makes it better. I remember there was that. It was when they first brought that voiceover feature to TikTok. And mm-hmm. I did that thing. Uh, the audio, like, it's supposed to be like the cancelled audio. And then you duetted me and you're like, God, I wish I could make fun of you right now. <laughs> That was so funny. I didn't it know if you so saw that funny. you didn't comment it on it. It was so funny. I, I, I fucking laughed out loud when I saw that. It was so you funny. You need to start... You don't comment on my posts. That's Even a, when I post about you, you you're just silent. It's hey, crickets. Hey, where was the thing... Where, where when I did that whole post about you and it was funny <laughs> and you said you were going to do me? Where's that? Huh? I'm waiting. I feel like my entire existence is making fun of you. <laughs> I feel like that's like 90% of my life. Like, I wake up and I'm like... How can I ruin Caleb Finn today? <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. <laughs> oh my god. Cool. But seriously, you're crickets on my post. I'll literally be like, oh my god, Caleb Finn. Like, hi. You don't post about me nothing. that much. Not not really. I mean, on Miso Packet Bay, sometimes I do. I don't get many Yomis. I don't get much Miso Packet. I see you on the forum. You are sometimes. on the wrong side of TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't guys. see yours that much. Um. Miso Packet's been popping off too. I'm a little disappointed. Still? <laughs> yeah, she she died off for a little bit, but now she's getting over 10k on pretty much every post. She's back, baby. How's hang on, off topic. How's your algorithm right now? For your videos right now. Oh because my god. After mine fucked. Well, like after they they shadow ban me or something. I'm just not they're yeah. not happy. Like for the last like three days. I don't know what's going on with my account. I don't know what's going on with it, but it is not mm-hmm. it. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so what? Oh my god, I've got so many questions to get through. Yeah, this it's been nearly two hours. I've been through. I've gotten through half the questions. Oh my god. Okay, speed run. Let's okay, go. speed run. Okay. Um, what has been your favorite moment from your social media career so far? Oh. Oh. Um. I don't even know. Like that moment where you're I, like, whoa, I, like this holy shit. Playlist. Playlist? Playlist. What playlist, about it? walking in and having people just like, because I, I, me and Chris ran off a lot during Playlist Live. Uh huh. Um, just because Chris was tall and I was like, yo, Chris, I know Chris is tall and I know Chris will want to go home and get Thai food in an hour. So, like, bars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, like, just like the people that I've met, like, like a lot of the people who were like running things like stopped and knew who I was. Like a lot of the security knew who I was. Like it was weird. Uh-huh. Like I don't know. I think the best part was just figuring out like playlist just made me realize like the people that I think are my fans. Like I always think of myself as like having like a lot of alternative fans or just like a lot of like not like misfits but like just like misunderstood fans. Yeah. A lot of like not normal people, quote unquote, but a lot of people that I wouldn't expect to like me really do like me mm. and, and just like respect what I do. So I think that playlist, just seeing the amount of fans that I had, yeah, was just mind blowing. Yeah. Scary. It was playlist was a very scary experience. It was horrifying. And you Did and you- I couldn't get into that thi- that part. And it was a fucking nightmare. Like that the playlist, playlist was so 
awfully run and it's like awful there were like there were big creators and they just wouldn't they just wouldn't let us into the room i'm like excuse yeah. me do you see the giant angry mob standing right behind me like <laughs> you want to deal like, with this too because like yeah. I, I i dm'd them like a week before i was like hi i have i've been to cons before I need to get backstage. I'm like, there's going to be a fire hazard. It's like, they wouldn't let me on the floor at VidCon. They said, do not go on that mm -hmm. floor because I was deemed a fire yeah. hazard. I'm like, please. And they're like, nope, have fun. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? The entire first day where we went, we were just running around because we couldn't get anywhere. Yeah. It was insane. Cause they wouldn't, it's stupid. If you go to playlist, you do literally, I would not waste your money. No offense, playlist lab. Yeah. <laughs> Hello offense. And they were gonna do but, a um, second one. It's unsafe. Year. It was so unsafe. Yeah. That corridor. It was Oh my god. And they've had problems, but that's where Christina um Christina Grimmy happened. I don't know what that is. Who that is. Christina Grimmy? I don't know who that is. Oh <gasps> what is it? Love her. <laughs> Love her. If you guys know what I'm talking about, she um passed away like during a shooting during a concert at <gasps> Playlist Live. Oh shit. Yeah, and literally an Uber driver told me that. Because I, I remember Christina Grimmy, but I just like didn't know what happened at Playlist. And I literally looked at Chris. I was like, are you kidding me? There's no fucking security in there. There's not a sink. Like, nobody checks bags. Nobody. You could get away with anything if you wanted yeah. to. That was ridiculous. Like, honestly, that was... And there were kids in there. And there was kids, that was kids. so rude. Like, when they grabbed Sid by his backpack and just... Oh my woof, God. Like, yank him out. I was like, excuse me? Like, was there need for that? Like, words, hurt, words work too like yeah oh my god Literally. it was it was a fucking nightmare it was um, horrendous yeah. yeah um what's the creepiest fan account of? what's the creepiest thing fan has ever done oh i had a stalker from france for a while who would cool. write me music Very um nice. yeah so that was scary he still comes around sometimes <laughs> does he support you um yeah he's paid me before he used to when i blocked him on everything he used to pay me one cent on paypal to tell me things over and over just over and over throughout the day <laughs> yeah nice. so do you would you say would you say like it happens often like creepy kind of things like people being weird it's like please stop that yes and no yeah like i, I feel like people know like not to fuck with me loki uh -huh. like especially in my twitch streams like when you get in there like you fucking know hmm. like don't you dare don't you dare cross me <laughs> but like because like that is not it like this guy like it came, came after me like the other day and i just like showed his dms to me like nine times out of ten if someone's being mean to me they've dm me something creepy yeah it's weird yeah it's just weird i got i was so, so scared because i the creepiest thing there was these two girls and they still message me and they write oh. the creepiest shit to me. Like, we're going to do things to you. We're going to find you. And like, they're like, we live in London. Because I, I went to VidCon UK in London. And they're like, we live in we live in UK. We're coming to find you. And we're going to do things to you. I'm like, can you? Like, oh, I was so scared. But like, that's the thing. People are so creepy. Like, they just, they don't, they don't have that sense of like, hey, maybe I shouldn't say this. Like, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just some people, oh man. Oh, my God. Yeah, I swear, like, who taught some of y'all how to speak yeah. to people? <laughs> it's I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah creepy. Um, do you, do you see yourself changing careers anytime soon? Not no. No. Not unless I have to. Are you gonna ride this thing out till it's till it's dead? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> I, it's too far in. I, yeah. I've put on these eyelashes too many times. What's now. what's the point like, where you think you'd be like, all right, throw on the towel, I'm done. I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> That's actually something I'm probably gonna cry about later. Yeah. But um, I would say maybe like, if my when you can't pay like, rent. like Twitch, like people, yeah. Oh, bars actually. Yeah. Yeah, that that. If I had to get another job to cover things. Yeah. I think yeah. that's time to rein it in, or at least like drop down in content and focus on other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I should have a plan. <laughs> I really, I hope I moved. I like, I, I want to move by the end of this year. Um, True. But like, I hope I'm like, I want to go to California, like on my own. Ooh. Like, I, I want to. I know, but like things have been going good for me, Caleb Finn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can this do is it. Not the time, I mean, not the, not the time, probably not now, but like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I wanna Still like, I, cause like things have been fine now where it's like I can almost support myself, like I can support myself now, but it's just the fact where I want like enough savings to be like, if things started to flop a little bit, I would be yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, which like is nice. So I, I maybe within like a year or so. Mm -hmm. Um, but. 
I, I, I hope I, like, I just hope I'm happy. Oh. That's it. <laughs> I just hope I'm happy. I, I don't, I'm not very hopeful. Because <laughs> you're not, you're not managed by anyone. You don't have a manager, do you? No. Nope. <laughs> Thanks, Caleb. <Finn. laughs> no, I do not. Well, that's the thing. Have you have you been looking for one, or are you just not interested in one? Nobody will literally tell you where to get one, and every like I'll get emails. So I've had a few where it's like, yeah, maybe I got one that I got screwed out of just like because situations, but like um, like there's there's been like a few, but like it's just like you never know who's lying and who's not, and I trust myself to yeah. get myself. Hang on, I just got change my battery. Hang on. I can't hear you for like five seconds. <laughs> My battery is dying. I swear um, he hates pregnant women. I swear. Yeah, and it's like there there are pros and cons to being managed by a manager. Like at the start, I didn't want to be managed because I was like, I don't want someone telling yeah. me what to say, when to say it. Um, I'm the same way. Yeah, and they can, they do censor you a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, like for long term, it's like they, they yeah, they can do some good stuff yeah. for you. Yeah, it's just like tough because everyone's very hush hush in the US. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's very hush hush. Yeah. Like it, it's literally like. <laughs> and you be very careful too, because there's some bad, yeah. there's some bad organizations like management. Yeah, like there my, are, and like, like I don't want to get one, over. Oh my god, you know the first one. Mm -hmm. The fucking lights out tour people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they just were, oh they, they did you so good. wonderfully. Oh yeah, they did a number on me. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> got me like permanently a black mark on my record forever yeah issues every time i try and get to fucking america yeah that, that's just wonderful mm, remember when you. i put finn on your um passport oh thing? my god that was so annoying we were traveling i thought you were gonna stop talking to me we were traveling from <laughs> florida after playlist into la and Aviva puts fucking Caleb finn on my airport ticket now i'm pretty sure everyone knows this finn is not my real last name I have a real last name and she's like hey it doesn't this this does not match your fucking license you don't get on that plane i'm like are you serious and, oh, <laughs> it was so much fuck around what? and i was like oh my god i didn't think i don't think i'm getting in like i thought i was gonna have to buy another ticket but hey it's sorted out that was scary though he used his car and he flirted with old ladies i know i know how to turn it on i know how to turn well, it on. well no everybody literally oh my god kai and dumb here would not come downstairs and so literally, I was, everyone was like, well, buy the plane tickets. And I was like, well, I need your money. <laughs> like, I need to figure it out. What plane are we going on? And so everybody just like sent me their money. And they were like, okay, buy it. So I'm not sitting there thinking, you know what, Caleb, Caleb's last name. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sitting there going, well, how do I spell that? I, I'm writing Caleb Finn. I'm I just buy, we had to leave. We bought those seven hours before we had to leave. Yeah. Like not even. It was so, un literally, it was like, so unorganized. No, we bought them 1 a.m or so the day before and i had to twitch stream to get the money for it <laughs> <laughs> like i, I was like i was stuck like common sense it's like i know your last name and i wouldn't think to put oh yeah i'm gonna put like if it was sophia on the ticket like no because well, when i think about you i think caleb finn like because you don't you don't like broadcast your last name as much like i don't know i would think of you to think of me more as Aviva sophia uh, yeah i do you really think of my last name is pretty shit <laughs> I, yeah. I'm a little offended. Like, <laughs> yeah, but it's like, I mean, you call me Killifin even just in normal conversation. And like, like, it, it, like it, hi, Killifin. It's like, this, <laughs> my name's just Caleb. <laughs> but I like it. It sounds like. Yeah, Papa. I know what you mean. It has a nice ring to it, which exactly. is why I chose it. <laughs> it's fun with it. It's, oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh,. You said you wanted kids in the past. Oh, you said you wanted to eventually have kids or whatever. Yeah. Would you tell them about if you were Sophia? Yeah, I would. Yeah? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Would you be happy if they, would you be fine if they had their own view of Sophia kind of personality? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Especially if I had a girl. People ask me that a lot, actually. I really? would love it. Because like, um, there was like i used to I, my mom raised me to like love my body when i was a kid and yeah. then i lost that like when i was i don't even know like 16 or so mm -hmm. um aviva sophia taught me to like my body a lot more um so i feel like i don't know there's just like weird things about aviva sophia that's like super empowering so if my kid won like my kid can do whatever they want as long as it's not harmful to themselves or others mm -hmm. like if it's making you grow as a person and you think it is like i respect you enough to like yeah. you know because your kids are, aren't just your kids they're people and it's kind of beat 
But I, I mean, I, I think I would, that. I would want them to do things a little differently than me. You know what I mean? Like I would obviously be like, brand, okay, so like, <laughs> yeah, like, excuse me, <laughs> like, can't, can't pick me, please. Like, that's my trend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds to this, and you're just like, ah, excuse me, <laughs> go to your room. <laughs> but I think that'd be cool. I think if I have a daughter, I think I would dress her up as me when she gets yeah. older. I think that would be really funny. Yeah, because I think there can absolutely be like a posi- body positivity aspect to it. And it's like, yeah. if you're hot, flaunt it. Like, it's mm-hmm. like, be confident in yourself kind of thing. Yeah. And like, I've had so many messages from girls who are like, I just like, own it, like I, I have similar, yeah, I have like similar body types to them. And they were like, I didn't like my body, but like you like, like in yours, like help me. And like, I don't know, just things like that. Like that also is like another thing, like mental health where it's just like, okay, this is making it worth it mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. It's so like in the future, I could be like, I helped these people who cares, like if I did it in a made outfit or not. Yeah yeah um what's your biggest fear for your career oh like what's the worst thing that could absolutely happen i want to say like i don't know just like being taken the wrong like wrong way i feel like if something that i did went against like like take yeah, I don't want to say canceled because like that's not it. But I think if it was more canceled in the way of mental health area, I'd be pissed. Yeah. If I work too hard on my own mental health, I'd be pissed. I I know that I'm like a decent <laughs> enough person. That sucks to say. Yeah. But like, sorry. Um, but like, I don't. Know, it makes me nervous that people will like always think of me as like super conceited. Maybe like I I hate that view on myself. Cause, yeah. Like I really just want to help other people like be happy. My biggest like fear in life is just like having the people around me be really like as unhappy as I've been in my life. Like it scares me to yeah. think that people can get that sad. So like most of my life is just really about making other people happy, which is kind of stupid to say. Mm-hmm. But bars. Bars. Um. Bars. What's your favorite video that you've ever done? Oh my god i just knew this the other day um i think one of them is the um caleb finn just called me ugly i had to by law and then we did the <laughs> renegade at the end yeah we watched one. that today yeah. the renegade at the end is just it's kiss. so perfect. good it's perfect i remember i remember saying to you when you made that video i was like that that is perfect that's so funny oh, like <laughs> i love that video so much and then i think the um the one with Cap, the uh, Kids in America one. I, I really liked how the what? beginning of that was filmed. The, me and me and Ke- uh, Cap. <gasps> yes, I remember. One I remember the one. Yeah, I know exactly. What I you love mean. it. Yes, I, do I love it. It was half like a Healy's thing, and yes. then it was half like me. Doesn't remember the store. I think that the the yeah. mall. Yes, yeah, I, it, I feel like it represented it represented me. Yes, and like that, that trip a, a lot really better cool than vibe. a lot of other things did. Mm-hmm. Like I wish I made more videos like that when I was out. I wish like, I made I, more. I like, remember at the dinner table doing the mask video? How, that video how... was so good. Oh my god! It's so good. I'm so, I have so many fucking drafts in my phone of horror videos we just never finished. Oh my god! It makes god. me so upset are... because there were so many good ideas, and that video turned out so well. It was awesome. Oh. Um. Okay. Uh. What's what biggest celebrity that you've been noticed by? Oh. Mm-hmm. Um. Sam and Colby know who I am. Embarrassingly. That was at playlist. I wasn't know something. This is what we sli- yeah. snuck into the room, and they were oh, yeah. in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I embarrassed myself in front of Sam, guys. It I was embarrassing to watch. Baddest crush on Colby. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my. I was. Oh my god. I did not care though. Like, period. I was pissed at him. I was pissed. <laughs> Stop posting content for what? You look like for the biggest Cloud? fan girl, Sam? and he's like this. He's just like. He's like. I know it's funny. I don't have a crush on him. I have a crush on Colby. So like, I love Sam, but like Sam. <laughs> and he was, oh my god, was it like Key and Lolly or something like that? Like literally, people have been watching my entire life. I I stood there, like just, I'm I'm insane. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> That's all. I I wouldn't want to know me if I'm if I met me. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a cool experience though. Fun. Like when you, it's like when yeah. you've been watching someone else's content and you're like, oh my god, I love you, and they're just like, and it's like you, they're just there, like. Yeah, it's and cool. they just sit there. I'm like, oh, come on, like. It's a really cool experience. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm trying to speak on these questions. How how much longer do you see yourself on TikTok? Oh, I was just talking about this to my fans. Oh. If um, I have one of my YouTube videos is almost been done, being edited. Hi. You just started um, YouTube, didn't you? 
Yeah, because I've been planning on doing it for a while, but then my camera either got stolen or lost in Cali. It's just gone. Yeah. Oh, um, oh so I lost one all that footage. Swipe up camera? Okay. Yep. Yeah. It was just gone one day, so I was like, okay, bars. So that's gone. Um, but so I had to wait for a new camera, and then I've just been nervous because if you flop on YouTube, you flop. Like that's it. Mm -hmm. Like you flopped. Like and so I've been nervous to do it, but my fan base like finally annoyed, like not annoyed me, but like bugged me enough <laughs> um, to do it. So like yeah. I finally am almost done editing it. So um, I think if YouTube, if I got monetized on YouTube, or if I hit like ten thousand on there, I think I would really slow down on TikTok, or at least only kind of post like miso packet bay kind of videos. Yeah. Cause like just videos that get me like the slightest amount of exposure kind of thing. Cause it, honestly, I don't like where it's going as an app just for TikTok. myself personally. Yeah. 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 I would be all over YouTube if I was able to use copyrighted music more and get yeah. monetized because it's, What's just, up with that? It, it's, it's really annoying. I get it, but it's so annoying. I would love to make mm -hmm. those music video kind of content ones that I make, but do the entire yes! song. Oh my God. The entire I would kill oh for that. Yeah. I would kill. I would love it. But you just get demonetized and YouTube pays. Yeah. And it's like, who will make a living just off YouTube off one app? And I it's know. Like, so That's yeah, I, I get it. it. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's it like being cancelled by TikTok room? <laughs> <laughs> because of me. <laughs> <laughs> because of you. You got cancelled because of me. <laughs> My analytics went down for like two days. Are that. you Thanks serious? To room. <gasps> I didn't think Literally actually... barely. People <laughs> <laughs> barely. <laughs> it went right back up after because I replied to it. But like. Uh, people were mad because I posted a video where I was like, because Caleb Finn didn't get confirmed for Corona yet. So I thought, you know, oh, it's still a lighthearted joke. It, it's still fine. <laughs> so I go on there and I'm like, guys, I'm like, I, Caleb Finn has Corona. And I was like, I'm not going to go get tested because I was already home. And there was no way in hell that I'm driving 45 minutes to go to a hospital that has Corona in it <laughs> to go see if I have Corona with no symptoms. Yeah. And I wasn't going out, like I wasn't leaving my house. Like I, I've been in my house pretty much since I've left once since I got home. Um, so I was like, I'm not. I was like, guys, I'm not gonna go get tested for Corona. Like I already had it because I did already have it. Because technically, I gave it to you. Sorry. Um, but because <laughs> I had it when I when I went to Florida, I think like before yeah. it was a huge thing. Um, but people canceled me because I wouldn't go get tested for Corona. They hated you. They hated. They you. hated me. It was they so funny. They hated me. But I, it, it... <laughs> Thanks, Caleb Finn. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you know you. you've made it if you made it to TikTok Room. I know. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny. Although TikTok Room is getting canceled by like oh that Tyler time. Funk it's so it's like, so bad. It's so bad. It's so Don't support. If you follow TikTok Room, I'm gonna ask you now. If you would unfollow it, they're really mean to minors, and like there's no reason to bully minors for just like living their life. You know what I mean? So if you could help out with that, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. I follow TikTok group. <laughs> <laughs> you do? You're part of the problem. I know. I know. They're I know. They're bully miners. Caleb Finn. I know. I need to unfollow them. Cause oh my like, God, I literally made a TikTok about this and you still follow them? <laughs> I know. But like, I had to keep up to date. They, uh, anyways. They're I, mad I because they couldn't get famous. I bet it's like, like, oh my God. I bet it's someone about like, like Kyler. Do you remember Kyler? Kyler. He just he canceled was... himself again. He did? He's against the Black Lives Matter thing. Like the riots and protests and stuff. I saw it the other day. I'm like, are you fucking kidding? Like you just, you just got over the first one. And uh, <laughs> uh, was it period? This, he was up my ass. Abortion's he, motor, period. <laughs> he, he comes to my Twitch chat and he's like, play Fortnite with me. Play Fortnite. No, no, mm. I Fortnite with you. Yeah. It's uh, it's not great. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you, oh wait, no, I did that. Okay, so that's all the questions that I had. Uh, I've got about ten yeah. questions uh, that the fans wanted to ask you. Uh, so there's like ten of those. We're nearly done. Thank you everyone for staying all this way. Um, hey, we made pretty good time though. It's been yeah, pretty well. It's been fine. It's been I'm, fine. I'm doing good. Okay, so uh, Orange Fanta asks, uh, what's your least favorite thing about social media? Your faves are lying to you. <laughs> Everybody's huh? lying. What? Everybody's lying. What like you your mean? faves, like just like the bullshit that goes around. I just don't like it. Oh, so you're like saying it. I feel like, like it's really sneaky. Oh, so you're saying like the influences that you like aren't. I don't. Great. I don't. 
I don't like not it's not even just like influencer, just like the the idea of it. You know what I mean? Like this isn't even about like anyone, it's just like everything. Like I just feel yeah. like it's just a really weird lifestyle. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I just don't I don't know. It's just not my favorite cup of tea to of like see like a bunch of like It's hard to find genuine honest people, I think. Yeah. In this industry. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's made it like yeah. much harder too, because like people just like clout is like that's the thing life. it's like you can't tell if they like you or if they like you for your clout it's really yeah, hard to distinguish yeah because, i've literally stopped talking yeah. like everybody because i'm too afraid to find out yeah and like you said <laughs> something to me and it really made me like reinterpret everything because like because i think it was a playlist or something and i was like everyone's being so nice to me like everyone's being so nice and you're like no they're being nice to you because you're caleb finn and i'm like yeah oh shit like i didn't even yeah, think about that thin. it's like oh my god Listen, i'd rather die for you i can tell when somebody is looking at you and they don't respect caleb finn. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't respect caleb they only respect finn yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's very tricky it's very hard because people are people are, there's definitely people in it for the wrong reasons they just want the clout yeah they want their fame and they want the money yeah and they don't care That's who don't they like. step on or what they do to do it yeah 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 that sucks um uh foe asks are there any more platforms you want to be more invested in youtube youtube i guess yeah twitch more too mm -hmm. i just I, there's just like a lot more i want to do with like the stuff that i have i feel like i feel like youtube's the only thing that like i really like haven't like tr dabbled in you know what I mean? So I feel like that's yeah. the only one where I've really just like, it's exciting. What kind of content are you thinking about uploading? Um, Obviously, I have to do get ready with me because like I'm an e-girl. So yeah. people want to know how like that happens. So it's just um, like, but I do, like knowing more about you kind of thing. Yeah, I just kind of want to do like whatever, honestly. And that's like kind of what my TikTok's been too. So it's like, you just whatever I feel like that week. Like if I want to like do like stream highlights, like sure, I'll post it. Or if I want to do like this, like anything I want, sure. Yeah. Go ahead, Aviva. Fine. I like that. That'd be exciting. Yeah, I want it. I got it. Period. <laughs> um, Magisk asks, "What's the most badass thing that you've done?" You're like, I'm that bitch. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Like, like online wise or just like life wise? Whatever. Mm. In your life. I don't. Oh my god. I'm such a a baby. Such a I'm girl. such a baby. I. I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, um, oh my god, I think the most badass thing I did, this is kind of like a long story, but <laughs> like not really, I'll, I'll fly through it for you, but basically, um, I was about to get admitted to a mental health program down in Tennessee, which is like really far from where I live, um, and this lady and me were like beefing, like the lady who owned it, like she was like, if you go home now, like she was like, that's it, you're just gonna be depressed for the rest of your life, or like, <laughs> you know, like that's gonna be it. And yeah. I literally looked at her in the eye and I was like, I'm taking my stuff and I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I made that drive the me all the way home. I felt the power in that. Ooh, I was so mad at her. <laughs> and then me and my dad just went and ate barbecue from like three different states. I love and that. I just went home and started working. And here we are. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, Foe, again, what's bucket list wise, what are your goals? Ooh, oh my God. I want. I want to like meet more YouTubers because like there's like that's your bucket list. I don't even know who. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet Jack <laughs> I just want to be happy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not asking for like, much. I want yeah. my dog to live long. Um, I want to. I want to go. Um, what do you call it? Zip lining on a really big mountain. <laughs> Zip lining. I. It's the coolest thing ever. Okay. It's so fun. <laughs> it's, it's so there fun. Go, I've, done it, I've done it once. <laughs> uh, Nugget, what time? Uh, Nugget asks, what type of content do you enjoy making the most? Oh, miso packet content. Miso, miso packet, packet is so fun because nothing matters. Or if I'm doing a video where like the ending is like not what you expect it to be. Yeah. Like low key, like the miso packet peg things I've been doing <laughs> have been so good. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um but just like the random videos there's so just any video is pretty fun to make anything that isn't me like what isn't even fun anymore i don't know dance videos 
They're like fun, this. but like they're I the amount I'm smiling is not what I'm feeling inside. When you're like, dancing. Yeah. yeah, it's probably like my twentieth take. Like I'm sitting <laughs> there like <laughs> That's what it is. I love it. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> And it's like, it's weird. It's like, I don't know if it's like, he'll still do dancing without being shit on now. No. Like, because but like, also, it's just straight dancing. That's just, that's just like TikTok dancing is straight TikTok. You can't do it now. Yeah. You woe? Yeah. No, you're cringe. Yeah. You woe? You're not coming to the tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so glad I've been invited to the tree, like from the beginning. Thank God. <laughs> that's the one thing my loud mouth has gotten me. Like by that side of TikTok, I'm like, good. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Um, Special Duck asks, "How do you get over the hate?" Oh, I don't have time. I don't have time to worry about people, how people feel about me. Because yeah. if you don't think about how this goes for anything, this isn't just like hate comments. Like if somebody in your life like judges you or, or you're getting bullied or anything, mm. do not give it the time of day because I it will not matter if you don't, if you don't read it and you can't see it and you don't let it affect you. Like, people do that stuff to, like, get the reaction. They're looking for you to be like, no, I'm not conceited or I'm I'm pretty. Like, I swear. Mm. Like, what you say, like, doesn't matter. Yeah. If you ignore it and you just work on yourself, yeah. like, just focus on anything but the hate comments. Like, Cause you're most, fine. Because mostly what they're looking for is reaction out of you. Yeah. That's what, like, yeah. that's what it is. Even when I make a funny, like, response video, I'm like, I really shouldn't have because, like, that's what they're looking for. Like, no matter how funny yeah. the joke is. I the way I do it, like I see, it's like to it's like if you try and picture the mindset that person must be in to go to your account, mm -hmm. take the time to comment and be like, I hate you. It's like yeah, and usually multiple times. Yeah, or and or across multiple videos, and it's like yeah. imagine being that person. It's like that's so it's such a low stupid thing to do. They took the time out of their day to hate on you. It's like yeah. why give them the time of day? Like honestly, it's exactly. so dumb. It's so stupid. Um, Ladybug asks, what's your biggest pet peeve? Oh my god, I hate being called annoying. <laughs> I hate it. Did I you hate call it. You it makes me cry so hard. I called you annoying on the trip and you got like legitimately upset about Different. it. Different. Did I actually? I think you did. Oh wait, no, you did once. And no, I think you called somebody else annoying and I was like, Caleb Ben, <laughs> don't you use the word annoying? That's so rude. It was it Kai? I, I, hate I remember it. I remember someone getting upset because I, I called them annoying. It was you or Kai. Annoy it was probably me. I hate, hate the word annoying. I hate it. How dare you? How dare you? You want to reawaken my trauma from when I was 10? Like, shut up. Like, I swear to God, I will fight everything. Um, but only by just like people like, oh, oh, sorry. I got a good message. Um, But I feel like it's only by people that I really respect. Like, I feel yeah. like if, um, I don't even know. Like, I don't want to say you because I feel like you calling me annoying is not that threatening. No offense. <laughs> Those like, are it's threatened not, by like, me. It's not. I yeah. just became the fucking punching bag while we were in America. And we're oh just like, God. bully kill bully kill I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> that, see, I will never get rid of my brand of bullying Caleb Finn. It is honestly. Everyone I, does. I did not my fans know do. do for like two weeks. My fans do. My friends do. Everyone does. I'm just, I just have like a punching bag personality apparently. I think it's because there's really you have to think of it in the way that there's really nothing to make fun of so we just i've heard that i give good like i give reactions and that's what makes it so fun to bully oh when you go no <laughs> <laughs> no yeah but like it doesn't it doesn't really phase me it's like i i can take a joke it's like as long as it's not like mm. just straight out being like just like that kind of hurt me though but like yeah. if it's not that i, don't, I could not kill us like, yeah, I don't think I've ever bullied you and meant it unless I was saying like, "fuck Caleb Finn, like, yeah, randomly. Yeah, because it's like it's all in jokes. You bully me. It's all it's all yeah. in good jokes. It's like obviously people like don't actually hate me, and it's like yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think like I I, I don't think I met a single person that was like, "oh Caleb Finn." I did not yeah. like Caleb Finn on that. Trip. Literally nobody. So like, <laughs> you? Here he it is. So, so nice. you're you're just getting bullied because there's nothing to bully. Like that's, I really think that's it. Yeah. It was but don't nice. like get looked like it's yeah. your head. It's nice because like when we went to playlist and I, it's like I met so many creators, and it's like they were just they're like yeah, Caleb Finn's nice. LJ, no, not LJ. What was it? LJ? Uh, no. Horizon. Horizon. Yeah, Horizon Eclipse. Yeah, LJ, same person. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he's just like. Bro, you're so fucking cool. I'm like, 
That's so sweet. Oh, he's like, so nice. I fucking love LJ so much. And he like tweeted about me. He's like, Kelvin's just like a really cool dude. I'm like, oh my god, that means so much to me. Like honestly, he, LJ's such a cool fucking dude. I love him. He is. He. Oh my god. I like. <laughs> he came into my my room crying one night. Sorry, LJ. <laughs> <laughs> and um, because with Cap and Cap was like, oh, I don't know, man. And I had to like hold him with Cap. <laughs> petting him and i was like it's gonna be okay but and the next day he was like you're really nice <laughs> and i was like thanks i try <laughs> sorry lj oh god it was fun all right we did a video we were at no one's house um a kneecap lj no one and damia did a video together that was so much fun mm -hmm. and they made us food yeah. and then they didn't fucking tell me the one that they gave me they did something to it i can't remember what they did they moved their oh, finger yeah. in it or something Oh, you oh my god, assholes. that's like when Cap made you drink that water. Oh, then he put his or finger the... in. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's There's like, a picture he's of like, him putting his finger in yeah. and then he gave it to you. <laughs> he's like, take a drink. Is it good? Does it taste like? Is it... What is it? And then he just holds up his phone as, oh, you fucking asshole. There that's were such a at least... thing to do. My favorite thing about, like, Cap is that, like, me and Cap would look at each other and he'd be like, if I don't tell anybody, like, nobody will know if you don't tell anybody. <laughs> so we would do things and we would just be like, we don't know who did it. I don't know. Sorry, like once we made like a huge mess and me and him were like, so I don't know. Like, I, I, we don't know who's <laughs> And everybody blamed each other and we were just like, mm -hmm. God, I miss Cap. I miss Cap so much. I Holy know, shit. Me too. He's such a dick. <laughs> I love I him. <laughs> <laughs> and he did a 24 hour stream the other day. It was crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Um, uh, Emily asks, what, what, what do you, what do you really think about my split hair dye? Wow. What did you really think Getting about it? Deep with you. I actually talked about that today. Loki, I, I don't know. With me. <laughs> My Switch stream. <laughs> <laughs> I Loki, I, I liked it. I liked it because I, I think I liked it though. I really liked it because I wanted to do it to my hair. Mm. So I think I was just more jealous. Um, I hate it. But now you look like me. So. Yeah. <laughs> I Looking back on it, I don't know why anyone let me do that. Why? I thought it was cool, Loki. I, I really did. I saw no problem with it. I, I don't think I'll ever do it again. I want it, I've always wanted to do it. And I was like, this is my time now to do it. And I got done for free. I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm doing it. And I'm I was so just like, jealous. no, it just wasn't it. I just didn't like it. It wasn't it bad. Wasn't as bad it's, uh, yeah. I don't know. It was bad. And then I think it got worse once I got that haircut. That was at no one's haircut place. No one. He's like, yeah, this is where I get my haircut. And the way I fucking looked at Vivi Rex's house makes me so upset. Because, I just like how they straightened it. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. Your hair looks better curly, <sighs> Caleb Finn. Stop straight. Please, everybody, tell Caleb to st like stop straightening your hair. There's no reason to. You'd have, like, you'd even get more clout if you didn't. I can tell you what products to use. Like, I don't like it. I just don't like having curly hair. Like right now, how my hair looks right now is my favorite way my hair has ever looked. Like having it like yeah, dark. Yeah, your hair looks good now like dark and super long and it's like my side slit fringe and my long side bits perfect this is how i want to look forever. they're kind of curly literally if you just washed your hair and did certain things to it afterwards it would look like that maybe a little more curly in the front like just let just let it get curly look at your chat look at that no, i get look it at okay that. i know they like wow. it but i don't dress the way i they want me to i dress the way i want to and i've straightened my hair every day for like the last 15 years so it's like wah, wah, wah. wow wow <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. It's fine. I, would... I like it. I but I don't know. Okay. Go a week. Go a week without straightening and oh. see how things change. It's... See how things change. I bet you'll get more brand deals. Things will <laughs> change. Vapor wave everywhere. Vapor wave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last question uh, is from Micah and says, What's the next big step for your career? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I think YouTube and moving. Yeah. I think moving on my own would be dope. I think because there's brands that I've talked to that like I've like I have like some certain little things that I keep to myself that like I hold pride that like I have like brands that will be like if you go to California, we'll do this for you. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> but like I think that there's like a bunch of like different ways that I want to take it. I think that moving and youtube and just like showing more of myself online instead of the thought side because i feel yeah. like I, aviva sophia has been well-rounded mm -hmm. we know what she can do like i know i can look at a camera and scrunch my nose like i get that yeah but i want to see if like 
me actually trying to make a difference and like actually showing what I can do mm -hmm. is just as good as that. Like, while I know it is, I just want to see how like other people would take it, not just my fan base. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I guess that's really it. Very nice. How yeah. exciting. I'm very excited. Yeah. For... <laughs> how exciting yeah so cool <laughs> wow i'm so excited for all your future endeavors wow we're inspiring <laughs> me with confidence of you uh-huh all no the best um <laughs> no uh that's really exciting i'm really excited to see where your career goes honestly because there, you yeah. do have a lot of potential where's the modeling at where's the yeah. modeling gigs i'm too short Doesn't, i don't think just get headshots just do this and you're fine I... like, it's fine like, I just, there's a lot of things I could do, but it's just like, do I want to? I do. <laughs> I do <laughs> want to. <laughs> I think you could definitely push the Twitch angle really hard. I think there's a lot of potential yeah. for you in Twitch. I think yeah. there's lots think, of things. I think if I took Twitch, like, the, not saying like I would be like Pokemon, but I think I could get to those levels if I took it more serious uh -huh. in certain ways, like the, the, my game choices and things like yeah. that. I there's a could. lot coming for that. And you could do a lot of makeup stuff as well yeah you could be like half yeah. makeup get those brand deals abby's got a morphe I know. deal i think uh, bro i got an ulta deal but like i remember you telling me which is yeah. nice yeah which i fixed everything was good when i went home i don't know if i told you that <laughs> i lost the package um, that's <laughs> right ulta. yeah oh I my remember. god it was the worst i cried so hard guys it was the worst i lost like the biggest <laughs> pr package i've ever gotten in my entire life <laughs> In my, and they were gonna pay me for it too. They they did. They ended up paying me because they understood. But like, it was the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, well, there's there'll be plenty more opportunities in the future. Um, yeah. What was that for? Why'd you say <laughs> no, it like that? <laughs> <laughs> there will be. You never know. Places of you, Um. So. <laughs> Thank you for coming today, uh, Viva <laughs> Sophia. Mr. Packet, thank you. No problem. I had a lot of fun. I had, I had fun. fun. This was good. I think yeah. it's a good idea. I think it's going to go well for you. I think so. Um, but this is going to be uploaded onto YouTube as well for future viewing. <gasps> Uh huh. It's gonna be on my oh, YouTube channel, so we can come back to it. That's dope. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. And you're the first person. Woo! <laughs> that's right. Remember me. If yeah. you get super famous, you owe me at least one little shout out. <laughs> or like Drake, a shout out or Drake. Drake. Those are your only options. <laughs> I won't ask for money or clout or anything. I mean, I guess a shout out oh, is kind of dope. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for being on the first episode. I really appreciate um, it. No problem. I had a lot of fun. Can we? Can we love train it out? We can love train it out. Let me get the music can up. Can we? Quick. <laughs> um, oh, Jesus. Hang on. Let me get this up. <laughs> love Drake. Drake. Yeah, I'm, I'm an unapologetic. Uh, I like Drake. Drake up. Alright, well, um, thank you very much, of you, for coming on. Um, no problem. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get this song to play you out because I think it's very um it's, it's very a Valentino. Toy. It's a little Valentino. It's <laughs> I think I think it's a song that you use for your outro. The Oh, the lo fi? The lo fi edit, yeah. The lo fi. Okay, one. I'll I'll allow it. Yeah. I'll allow it. Uh it sounds really cool. Wait. If I hang up will I just disappear? Uh you will. Don't hang up yet because I want to talk to you after, but I'm gonna meet you in a second. Oh I know it! I know it! <laughs> um <laughs> But anyways, big thank you. So everyone say thank you to Aviva. Thank you for coming on. It was a lot of fun. Um, I yeah. got to learn a lot about you. I hope everyone else did too. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching all the way through. It was a lot of fun. Um, we won't do these more often. But yeah, uh, it was fun. Thank you very much. Um, I'll see you guys uh, in a second. Hang on, I'm going to go to this. Hang on, two seconds. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, hi, I'm back, I'm back to normal stream. Hello everyone, um, thank you so much uh, for watching the first episode of uh, the TikTok series. I hope you guys like it. What did you think? What did you think? 
this isn't going to be going onto like the YouTube video. I just want to, this is just me just talking to you guys because I just want to know how, what you thought. I was so nervous, <laughs> even though it was like my best friend. <laughs> I like, uh, it was a lot of fun. You like it? You love it? It went longer than I thought. I wanted it to go for two hours because um, there's, there's stuff about this series that I don't want to tell you yet. Um, but uh, firstly, it's going onto YouTube and it, it, depending on how it goes, it might be going uploaded to other places as well. So um, we can tell you we're nervous. Yeah, it's different. It's hard. It's I haven't interviewed someone before, but it's like I, I try my best. So uh, I had a lot of fun. I think it was so cool. I love Uber. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for asking my question. You're welcome. Thank you for asking the question. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that was a lot of fun. We're going to have more people on. I'm not going to do these. These aren't going to be like super weekly regular. There might be one a month, maybe if that, um, but I want to do them over time. Uh, but that was the first episode. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for watching. Um, all the way through to the end of uh, the thing. It, it means a lot for you guys to watch. Uh, so thank you uh, very much. You keep scratching your neck. I know. And you guys pointed it out. I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. That's so cool. <laughs> um, you should do Kinex. I'm not sure. Is this the end of the stream? We're staying for a bit. This is going to be the end of the stream today um, because I do have stuff I want to focus on uh, today. So Wednesday is going to be a normal live stream. We're playing games. We're just doing normal stuff. Uh, but TikTok streams are going to be just the interview. Um... Uh, it's gonna be just the talk and then I'm just gonna go so it's basically like think of it it's like I would have been doing this interview anyway but this way I get to I let you guys get to see behind the scenes kind of thing you guys get to watch it live um, so I will be going in just a second I just wanted to say this little bit after just to say um, thank you and everything I really appreciate it uh, all the support and I hope you guys like it um, but yeah um, mod me I will I will after the stream Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope uh, you guys had a good weekend. Um, I hope you're all staying safe if you're in America. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much. Oh, that's different lighting. Oh, uh, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> uh, thank you. Have a lovely day, everyone. And I'll see you guys on uh, Wednesday for the Wednesday stream. So thank you. I hope you have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's going to be, the TikTok is going to be up on YouTube by the end of this week. I'm going to edit it tonight and it won't be long to edit. So it won't be, it won't be very long. So uh, yeah, you'll be able to rewatch it whenever you want. Anyways, I'm going. Have a lovely day, everyone. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.